Oh, I should be fine to go live. All right, we should be alive. Um, I don't really know if there's a delay on when I go live and when you guys start hearing it, so you might still hear some of my setup, I guess. Um, actually, at this point, for you guys, okay, never mind. I'm not going to get into the time delay. It just gets way too confusing, way too quickly. Um, but yeah, my goal for this stream, hopefully the audio is working, is to collect a little bit more, specifically of Glitchy Boss Gum, just for the event that I'll be dropping soon. Um, I think that's my best bet for getting Boss Gum is going for the Glitchy stuff, since I know going for basic Boss Gum is pretty fast, but it also doesn't give you as much hurt. But yeah, the first thing I'll probably do is actually go convert my ghost item that I got from my last grind session, since I haven't done that yet, so we'll go over to Ghost World, convert the ghostly items to uh, ghostly gum, and I will actually get up in the meantime my chat viewer, hopefully. Hey. Hopefully. Oh, hello everyone. Um, yeah, I just got my chat up. So, hello to everyone that has come out so far. I know it's still early in the stream, so um, probably will. A few more people come in, but for now we just kind of have to wait for the world to switch, which usually for, takes forever since Roblox likes to be weird about switching worlds. Um, also seem to be slightly laggy, but um, not going to complain too much about that. Yeah, Leo and Shelly are quite a bit of a pain to do. Um, I mean, Leo's pretty nice for the... If you're just planning on farming, like, mini bosses and stuff. Probably not going to be the most helpful for the event, but still. So, yeah. Um, Auto-clicker time. So. Nice satisfying sound that some people like. Just a button being clicked a billion times. Yeah, hello Sydney, welcome out to another stream. Um, that should be all my items, 266. Uh, looks like we got one boss gun, which is pretty nice. But yeah, that looks to be about the normal rate we get. Last time I converted, I got a really good rate, but I feel like that was a little bit out of the ordinary to get that much stuff, so. Uh, yeah, Gatekeeper is um, kind of a pain, or not really a pain, it's really easy to do, it's just... I know some people, the last quest where you have to... The problem really is that most people end up skipping to Gatekeeper instead of working There's working on the Ghost World a little bit first. Which, now that people can rebirth, people that rebirth like it, but first time through you probably need to get some better equipment and stuff before starting Gatekeeper. Also I know a lot of people have difficulty with the bosses the first time through, so... Yeah. Um, since this is a gum grinding exercise, I'm not going to be probably getting anywhere near the leaderboard, since I won't be going into the Agents HQ, so won't be keeping an eye on that as much as I have in recent, I'll probably do this for about three hours I think, and then after that, probably take a break and then switch over to some boss of some sort grinding, but yeah, I'll just probably get into the grind. As with all my streams, feel free to ask questions in the live chat. I'll answer them if I see them. But yeah, I'll... Um, the one of the things that really kind of confuses me about... Or, not really confuses, I guess. It, I guess it's more of just an oversight and something that is just not really a similarity is the fact that Photon Blaster and Overcharge ability. Um, in the back door, the Overcharge instantly kills ghosts compared to the Photon Blaster leaving them at one health. Um, that compared to the regular ghosts where you, if you use a Photon Blaster or Overcharge, it leaves them at one health. Kind of just a irregularity to not have the Photon Blaster be able to kill ghosts in the back door. Since it would kind of makes sense since the overcharger can do the same thing but I mean it makes sense since the photon blaster was added before backdoor was so just kind of easy to miss details like that
Um, yeah, maybe during the small break I have, about three hours in, I'll do a bit of some giving away. Probably some the legendaries from the void crate, and as since I have a few hammies, some of those. Um, I am somewhat low on hammies since I have been deleting them as I get them since my inventory space has been a uh, small problem recently, so. Yeah. But definitely we'll be able to give away some of the legendaries from the void crate. Assuming Roblox doesn't constantly act up like that, we should be making good time on our grind. But this is a ridiculous profit. Something or another. Honestly, I should probably close a few of the tabs I have open on Chrome to help with the stream. So, yeah. Now I've grinded for gum in the past pretty recently, so it's not going to be that different of a stream. Same concept, just running between using gums. Backing him up, ghost or whatever, and then going and averting every hour or so. So, yeah. Um, I kind of ran out of ideas, so I realized I can probably do a few repeats, grinds, stuff like this that I do need more of than just one time. So, we'll be getting into uh, after the break. I was planning on doing a little bit of final boss grinding since I do kind of want to work on gains uh, a few more items from that and filling out my index journal, I guess. Um, specifically, at some point, I do want to get the mini final. No, the pets aren't from there aren't that good, since people have been able to use boss come on it in the past, so. Meaning that they could get eight drops from it instead of two, allowing them to grind for 50 quite a bit faster. Hello, Roblox. Glad to see you into another stream. I know this is probably early for you, and you're going to have to have school at some point. Um, plan on doing it a little bit longer than usual, just or probably still five hours, but it's going to be a longer, longer than the last one, so that people have time if they have school to stop in later. Um, yeah, we'll keep using our gum. Use two gum, probably then sell, and then use two more gum will be the strategy I'll be going to be doing. Yeah, I know a lot of people are in different time zones, and so my streaming isn't always the best for everyone, but especially when I'll probably get a schedule out next week or something on when I'm going to stream and stuff, so that people can know whether or not they can make it. while since I grinded using the data stream instead of the agent's HQ. So, the actual path is kind of getting... It might take a little bit longer to remember than I'm usually ending up doing. So. Also, the need to try to remember not to worry about so much on getting stuff on the my way back from areas. So. Uh, nice to know. I know quite a few people have multiple channels and they end up. But, yeah.
Teaser event should be coming out soon. I mean, I've said that for like the last week, I guess, so. I mean, I'm probably wrong at this point and it is never coming out. That's a joke. I know there's been concept art released on some of the, or not even concept art, like backfield pets released on some of the stuff that is coming out. So it is definitely coming out. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, would, I wouldn't expect it to be out after Easter, but I wouldn't, wouldn't be too surprising if it did since all the work they've had to do for rebirths and stuff. Especially the people in charge of making like, pets, which is basically Maki, I think. There might be a few other people in charge of them, but... Yeah. Should be a pretty... Pretty good event. I really just need to figure out a better pattern to be doing. I know I'm, every single time I'm doing the block red HQ, this place in a different order, which kind of is messing me up quite a bit and allowing us to just respawn at different times. So I need to get our pattern down for there. Probably also for the data stream, but. Since these guys just kind of do whatever they want when I come in here. Yeah, they've had a lot of contests on the Discord recently, uh, in terms of Easter stuff, so it's been pretty cool to see all that. Um, yeah. I know I'm just terrible about art, so I didn't really enter any of it, but they had decent prizes. I mean, they had an egg drop for giveaway, which I'm going to have to go figure out how to trade for. Probably won't. I mean, Big Drop is actually probably a pretty common board just because it was out during the beginning of the Easter event last year, which was an egg hunt, so quite a few additional people bought that compared to most boards. So. Yeah. Been trying to trade for more egg drops, but. Not, not, no one's really wanting to trade it at this point. Hopefully the audio is coming over fine. I'm assuming from the fact that no one started complaining that it is. But it's always something that I bring up quite often, I guess. Probably be trying to focus a little bit more on the grind this stream than normal since it is getting a little bit closer to Easter and I wouldn't mind having a bit more by being a little bit better at the grinding. Probably be just able to get these three ghosts.
Honestly, I have no regrets in buying all the game passes that I have. They have really been a big help since I've started to grind a little bit more. I've probably close to doubled my total ecto, like my overall ectoplasm in the last month. I would guess. Um, I've been grinding a lot more recently, especially with these streams are really a big encouragement to start getting stuff and stuff done. I know my total ectoplasm isn't that good, but it is nice to have it up a bit. I remember someone on Discord was like they need to start working because I was catching up to them, which I was kind of confused by. Um, but that's kind of one of the things that's in the back of my mind that I need to go beat someone's total ectoplasm. I think there they weren't quite that far out. I need to. It was like a 400 billion or something, which was two days worth of pretty steady grinding. Um, the meant for me, but you know, probably won't need to worry about it too much since they weren't. They're were kind of just someone random that spoke up, and I had really no idea what they're. Where they knew what my echo was, or my toll was. Probably a random picture I posted about stats or something. Um, but yeah. Getting up your total ectoplasm feels pretty good. Especially when you hit uh, pretty good milestones like 1 trillion or 10 trillion or like even 2 trillion. It's pretty nice to hit. So yeah, definitely setting a goal when grinding games like this is definitely really helps with getting stuff done. Which I guess is kind of why I'm doing these streams, so I have goals set and can get closer to them. Why well, I don't mind it when no one actually comes in and listens, here, listens to the stream. It's just, it's nice to have it regardless. Um, I am at some point planning on doing another video, but I guess that's kind of always how it is, but there, I really need to make another rebirth, uh, another video on rebirths and stuff, on like which perks to do, since I see quite a bit of questions in the Discord on what, which rebirths to go for, and we're going to video on that, especially since most of the s things I said in some of my other rebirth videos have definitely been uninformed and haven't had enough time to really, haven't really had enough time to gauge the actual importance of them. Definitely a few of my viewpoints have changed in regards to what to pick. Eh, I'm not really too much into April Fools. Uh, never really have been. I was debating on just doing a bait and switch and instead of having a ghost in stream was having a Minecraft stream, but I decided nah, not really worthwhile. most part is just going to be a grindy stream. Right. I know Ghost Simulator and a lot of bigger things, or a lot of Roblox games end up doing uh, generic April Fool's Day jokes, like switching all their titles and the, some of their gameplay stuff. But not much a fan of that, more of just into get stuff done. Honestly, I probably should have just done an update video on the Simulate Spirits, the joke that Ghost and Larry did on their game. But I decided, nah, not not worthwhile. Not enough people would really get into it. It must be mostly be just people watching it jokingly. And it's not really something I really want to be doing. Playing joke videos like that.
Oh, I forgot I asked people. Um, at some point, uh, like about two more hours, a little bit less than two hours, like an hour and 50 minutes, I need to go take a, just, just not even like a minute break. I just need to remember to go add a reaction to one thing. On Discord. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, looks like our gum has run out, so we will go do anomaly and anonymous, I guess. Um, even though the rift gum has been nerfed quite a bit, I still feel like collecting just in case they do get buffed again in the future. Uh, that being said, I should use one of these just so I have an even amount. But yeah, this should be a pretty generic stream for everyone joining in. Just grinding gum, um, like I have in the past. Probably doing quite a bit more of the bosses every time Anomaly spawns, grabbing an Anonymous or something. Since I could use a few more backs like that. Since the last 250 loot bags I've opened, I've got really nothing from. Uh, but, yeah. I'm also planning on doing a uh, break in about 2 hours and 30 minutes now, I guess to go, I'll probably eat lunch and then give away some of the stuff I got in my last video, so mostly just some ice cream sammies and the legendary from the void crate, so if you want those, you guys can join in um, my brat server, which I'll probably link. I also got quite a few heartfelts, technogrids, and dynamites, but I don't think anyone cares about the dynamites or technogrids or heartfelts. So, probably won't, won't, won't emphasize those, but if you want them, you can ask for them. It's nice to see that this got all done over since I have done streams on since all those. Um, did also get an ace off stream, which was nice, but probably should have done a video on that at least. Um, can I do a stream farming bosses? Um, I'm planning on after my break in about 2 hours and 30 minutes to go do a stream on, or to switch over to farming the final boss for like 2 hours, um, just to get a little bit of stuff closer to the mini final and other stuff I need to get for my journal and stuff since my pets in terms of the block spike chests are pretty wimpy and also my boards so yeah I will probably do a stream on that how did I not get a legendary actually I'm missing quite a few legendaries I guess um but yeah so Yes, I can do a stream on that, and I will be doing switching over at some at about the halfway point of the stream to do that. And yeah, I might do actually, uh, definitely during the Easter event, I'll be doing streams on farming those boss. Um, but even after that, I might do a few streams farming like all the mini bosses and home bosses just throughout all the world. Just because I kind of do need more loot bags, boss chests, and everything in that. Since apparently, I can go through thousands of each and get nothing. Quite easily. People are always like, oh wow, I got this in like four crates. And I'm like, yeah, I just went through 250 of loot bags and got nothing other than legendaries. So... Definitely not very lucky when it comes to loot bags. Um, I have got a decent amount of luck in terms of other stuff. Uh, especially, like, this Sky Surfer is kind of nice to get pretty early on. Um, kind of got lucky with the Corrupteds from the, back, or the final boss grind I did recently. But, yeah, usually in most part, not that lucky when it comes to crates. 
Hello, DVB. I haven't seen you before in the stream, so it's nice to see someone new, new out. Um, I am terrible at pronouncing names. I'm assuming I'll just say the letters at that point. Uh, yeah. How, how you get how did I get so OP? Um, I'm actually not that OP in terms of stats, uh, but definitely grinding gum is really awesome. Buying game passes, which is mostly pay to win. Um, so to answer your question, how get so OP? Um, buying game passes and grinding a lot, and also being an older player that has traded for some of the limited stuff and then that have actual decent values actually pretty good too. But that's not really an option for people at this point, so yeah. I know most people can't buy game passes, so that's and that's kind of a big part of Ghost Simulator at this point. It used to not be that big of a deal, but now that they have the gums and everything, that is actually become a bigger deal than it used to be. So But yeah, if you want to get like good stat pets, I would definitely say that just grinding the final boss or picking the divine pet, I guess, would also work for stats. Growth wise. Um, if you aren't there yet, grinding is said is just the best thing. Just grind up your antenna level and everything. It takes a while, but it's definitely worth it to get up to end game. Yeah, two reverses I think is a was about everyone there. The it's a little bit higher than where most people are at about a week ago. I think now most people are slightly beyond two rebirths in terms of bigger community players, or not really uh, just like the normal player, um, not like the not like the beginner player, which is the most prevalent type, which aren't even on one rebirth yet, but. In terms of people that play a decent amount, I think two reverse is about good. So, yeah. I'm definitely behind on where I should be since I have been training quite a bit and didn't really have good stat pets before the update, so I've been taking a little bit of time to go get all that stuff. Um, yeah. Any more than one rebirth most people would consider good, since at one rebirth that just means you've been playing through the game normally. At two rebirths it indicates that you've farmed quite a bit after the update has dropped. Since you got up to get at least one more rebirth. Um, yeah. Probably won't be forgetting gum too often. I did just come back from like having to use the for grind for Gusly, I had you as using X gum, and so I'm used to just having to use it before I sell. And even with like the bow boss, um, you don't can't really use any gum during that, so it wasn't really necessary then. Kind of got used to not using gum. Yep, that is kind of what we're doing. Uh, it's one of the things that you can really always do since you can always use a little bit more gum. 
I think I'll probably go through like 40 or 50 a rebirth. So having a decent stock is definitely going to be nice for when I start grinding out rebirths. Which is probably actually going to be pretty soon, probably after Easter, I guess. Which is probably a month away, I guess. Um, during Easter, I should probably I'll probably do like three or four streams. I'm just grinding for the mythical pet, I guess. Really depends on how much free time I have during school and whether or not I set up a schedule and plan out times like that by doing the homework ahead of time and not procrastinating. But we shall see. So one, the one better like thing I like about college though is um, the fact that you don't have a set schedule every day that you have to go into school for. Um, so you can usually end up scheduling out like a decent portion of one day to do, go to a stream. That's definitely going to help with regularity of the streams compared to what normal people have to deal with at my age since they're using like high school and stuff, so yeah. But yeah. I would imagine I'd be able to get one stream a week and one video on a week, even once school starts. So that's gonna be my hopefully this is gonna be my plan and I'll probably figure out a schedule for that so that you guys can all stay up to date on my stuff. starts Monday next week, so. Time being, I'm planning on just doing quite a few streams, since they are actually pretty nice for um, m both me getting stuff done compared to videos where I'm spending half my time editing, so only really end up getting about half the grinding I really want done. And usually you want videos on more informational stuff, like that garners better views than just a generic grind. So. Uh, do my classmates know about this channel? No, actually. Um, especially in college, you really don't know anyone anymore. So you don't really care about telling anyone about your personal life. And I'm not really one much to advertise my channel anywhere, so like even on Discord, they're the only way people really f figure out I do Discord is by seeing the random highest is streaming on his channel and oh, via the Discord status message. So yeah, I'm not one to advertise myself too much. Yeah, uh, particle accelerator. Um, Particle Accelerator is not a, most people agree, it's not a very good park. Um, I got it, the only reason I have it is since I think it works on Event Ghost, so you can do them a little bit faster, but yeah, it's definitely not something that you should be really gunning for unless you're on your first rebirth, or first life, I guess. Like, when you're, when you're farming rebirths and stuff, you don't want to do like half the quest lines. You only want to do Adam, Jesse for the Nine Kingdom. Um, then you need to do Yoko, uh, then Gatekeeper, and then then just go through back door normally until you get to Blaze and do Blaze. So, uh, Roblox Legend, no, you're completely fine being late. Yeah, I know a lot of people aren't like most people that get into the game now are kind of just confused on how much good the game is and really can't get up to date so grinding really helps with that um hello again to that person um it is i know most people don't have much and much to say in a live chat so it's fine that all of you guys stay quiet but yeah level 8 antenna is i remember back when i was level 8 antenna and working on Finsley. that was that was interesting that was a long time ago Probably close to one and a half years, I guess. But, yeah. 
Yeah, most most uh most people in the game probably have zero rebirths. Uh, the people that you that play the game that most people consider to have played the game have two. But yeah, having zero rebirths isn't really that bad. I know it's. Oh, I know a lot of people joined the game late, so they've ended up having to grind up quite a bit to get up to endgame. And if you have the time, grinding up takes a while, but it's doable. Now, like, even I, um, the best person I think is close to 30 rebirths now, in terms of how many they have, which is ridiculous, especially seeing how I only have two, so... I would consider myself quite a bit behind on that front, too. Um, but not something I really worry about grinding up to right now. But yeah, keep working, keep grinding, um, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not really in the need of hoverboards, and since, honestly, I don't want to be taking free handouts for, to because usually they're either, yeah, if they're bad, I don't want them, and if they're good, uh, I feel a little bit spoiled and like I'm taking advantage of something, so. No, I probably won't be accepting donations. I am liking to donate some of the stuff I would end up deleting, like hands hammies and legendaries from loot bags and stuff, so. Um, even like later this stream, I'm planning on handing out some of the legendaries from the Boboss, since those are, I mean, I know some people have a bit of difficulty getting them. They aren't the hardest things in the world to get, but some people might consider them pretty valuable, so. Yeah. Uh, can I put some music some that's not copyrighted? Um, honestly, I just. I. Uh, YouTube, the YouTube stuff there, YouTube rides quite a few bit of music that isn't copyrighted. Um, and I've noticed that none of my Ghost Simulator videos have ever got copyright strikes, so I think they have pretty good on that front. Um, so, yeah. The main thing is I just don't know how to do that over the stream, to get some music going over the stream, so. How should I get... Good pets at a ten, at level 19 of 10. Um, the best way to get pets for most people is just to grind the final boss for those the either the mythicals from there or the dev pets, depending on how much time in game passes you have. But at 19 of 10, there's really not a good way to get good pets. I mean, back when I was level 19 and 10, I was using mini flasks, which are worse than Adam in stats, so if you have Adams, that's pretty good in terms of stats. Uh, how many reverse do I have? Still two. Haven't, haven't worked on that yet. Might do it a little bit, either during Easter or once I'm done with Easter. So... Yeah, game passes, not having game passes is kind of a bit annoying, I know. Um, first time I went through a game, I didn't have any game passes, so I understand your pain when it comes to grinding up through the normal areas. Um, just grinding, though, really helps. Yeah, and honestly, most of the time, you with the gum now, you can, you'll probably be doing it quite a bit faster than ever I did, so. It's not like you are so much. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not that good at, I haven't really done rebirths for a while, so. I might end up doing one soon, like, just if the Easter event doesn't come out, like, tomorrow or the day after. I might just take some time. Of course, I could have definitely reversed like a week or two ago, or not a week, not two weeks ago, but like a week or a half a week ago, and been fine since I haven't released the Easter event, but I really didn't know when it was dropping, so it's been out in the air. Yeah. I 
mean, I guess I could have guessed that from the fact that they haven't put any e any form of Easter stuff in the store yet. And I guess Easter is a little bit earlier this year, so they might just push out the update a little bit more so they have time. Which would I'd be completely fine with if it came out after Easter, since that would give them enough time to make it pretty good. And especially just recovering from the rebirth update. And if they are actually part of the egg hunt, um, a lot of the games probably will need additional time. So yeah. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the, um, Roblox games have been doing April Fool's stuff. Like even, Ghost Simulator is now Spirit Simulate, I think, and it's kind of, I mean. It's funny the first time you see it, but it definitely gets overused pretty quickly, so not really a fan of all the April Fool's stuff going on. I mean, it's funny, but the amount of that gets overused gets pretty annoying pretty quickly, so. Yeah, so I decided, you know, April Fool's stuff for my channel, um, we'll live with just a normal grind stream. Uh, someone was asking about music. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll try to figure that out while I'm doing it. Um, in the meantime... Time I'll add that and then go figure out if I can do anything with the OBS. Um, actually, what happens if I? Um, hmm. Hopefully I don't end up missing anything, uh, or messing anything up during the stream, but... Yeah, um, yeah, welcome out to the stream. Uh, just doing a bit of gum, getting some gum. Um, currently someone asked about music, and I have a bit of music that I've been using for quite a bit of my... So it looks like I found something. So, um, hopefully the music isn't too loud. So, we'll hope. Um, but it's music downloaded from YouTube stuff. They have free music libraries to download music from. So. Hopefully that this works. Yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be a bit loud. Oh, that. Hopefully it isn't too loud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know how to use the OBS. Sorry about that. Someone asked about music, and I was trying to figure that out. So, I think I found it, but they don't think the volume is going to be working properly, so I gotta close it. Yeah, okay. Looks like it was a little loud. Um, sorry about that. Um, may figure that out later on at some point uh, by myself, but. Yeah. They're. On your first. most Unless you're planned on using the overcharge for. Yeah, you can always complete the runs later. It's not really that important of a quest line. It's more of just a helpful thing to have with the event is the only reason I have it, but especially if you're planning on your birthing pretty soon. So, yeah. 
Now bosses aren't quite the most interesting thing for people to watch me do since all I do is stand here, but I mean, I can use a few more loot bags, so might as well. Um, especially since I'm not really worrying about grinding for anything other than gum right now. Don't need to worry about leaderboard stuff, so. I'll probably end up on the leaderboard just because of how much I'm grinding, but that's just kind of a side effect at this point of most of my streams. I have all those hoverboards for a while. Um, I know all of them look pretty good. Actually, most of the stuff does. Um, but yeah, you're probably right. It does look pretty good. Most of the stuff end up being rainbow. I've noticed that a lot of the stuff in Ghost Simulator end up being rainbow. Like, Bitbox is rainbow. Um, Sky Surfer isn't. Neither is really any of this stuff. But, like, even Egg Drop and Champion are both rainbows. Uh, all the hollow bit stuff is. Yeah. So. Is Blaze hard? Um, Blaze is mostly just long. It, it really isn't difficult to complete since most of its items, which are pretty easy to get, and finding stuff. So... Only really his last few quests are hard, where he has you do stuff in the last area of the back door. But even those aren't that difficult compared to, like, Rowan even, or Billy, so. Yeah. Um. See, I'm so used to uh, selling my stuff at that point that I just kind of went there instinctively to look for some x gum, Which, you don't get from charging your battery. Yeah, it's April Fools, and I'm hopefully not going to be doing anything. Um, but yeah. Yeah, server hopping is. Yeah, you're right about the server hopping is what Blaze mostly is. Honestly, Yoko has a lot of server hopping too, so you could probably say that. Uh, the rebirthing is half server hopping with how long those take. Welcome back. Um, yeah, there is a purple up in the set corner of the screen. Um, decided to work on that while I was on one of the bosses. And... Yep. Yeah, I know, um, I'm not, I, I realized I should probably have changed it, then I realized, nah, most people will probably be searching for a Ghost Simulator stuff anyways, even though it's a April Fool's prank. Um, I know it would have been nice for the meme to have it as a simulate, and then just have the tag as Ghost Simulator or whatever, but I feel like it's more effective just to have the Ghost Simulator up there anyways, so, that's what we have. I know going for memes is actually quite a good, decent view idea for Ghost Sim or for YouTube in general, but um, personally myself, I'm just kind of going to just do what I think feels the best, which is in this case, just go for the normal Ghost Simulator and hope people could understand. So, do I need to buy auto opener for getting a Cosmic Queen? No, actually, um, best way to get classifieds is actually to use an auto clicker at a really fast speed um, since you can actually open crates a lot quicker than even using the auto opener unless you're on like mobile or xbox then 
kind of nice to have. But yeah, using an auto clicker is definitely the best. Um, with yeah, I did a stream yesterday for classified, um, and was successful. Uh, I was using an auto clicker to just basically instantly open my or fill my inventory. It crashed quite a bit, but that was most of the scratches were just from my pet inventory, which is quite crowded. And appending a pet to them that inventory was would just cause quite quite a bit of lag and eventually crash the game. So yeah. I don't have the auto open features since really it's not really worthwhile unless you're having only opening like especially with the fact that gums now out and you need to be kind of time sensitive with your unboxing it's better to just use an auto clicker at a ridiculous speed um no you don't even really need to click on it back and buy um just because of how, how much lag is generated the buy doesn't have enough time to get off screen before you click it again, causing more lag, which allows you to open like 100 before it switches off. Um, which I know is kind of a glitch, but that's kind of what most people just end up doing is I'll click around 500 clicks per second or 200 or something and clicking the buy button. Uh, usually most people don't end up making an auto clicker, they just buy one, or not buy one, sorry, get one for free off the interwebs, which I know this is not the best case for most people since getting an auto clicker is, or downloading any sort of file is both, uh, kind of hard for some people and also somewhat dangerous if you don't do it correctly, so. Probably the best thing to ask is for someone to provide you with the, uh, link to one in the, in a Discord server, um. I'm not going to provide one since YouTube doesn't like me providing links to stuff, so. Yeah. been streaming for just under an hour at this point. Um, I know I said I'd convert at an hour, and I probably will, just to keep my stuff. I know I've been grabbing quite a few bosses, so it's not going to be as many items as I've been turning out every in my previous streams, since a lot of bosses have been taking time away from it, so... Honestly, probably another anonymous is spawned, and we can go work on that instead. I know I just wasted like 15 seconds worth of gum, but... Eh. <laughs> yes, purple, purple nom nom. So, don't stick your finger anywhere near purple. It's not safe for you. Probably should have blown it up a little bit more, but I think that's find enough size for the definitions that so, we'll leave it there um I have a few more things I can boost up there if I want but for the most part I think it'll probably just be purple this purple's awesome um double checking on my time and 49 minutes till I need to do that Um, yeah, I mean, it is cold-blooded, so it is probably cold being in the ice tundra. So 
sorry, helping uh, helping people figure out stuff on Discord, so. Mm, yeah, bosses give me a time to go do stuff other than just work on the stream, which I guess I probably shouldn't be doing in the stream, but. Uh, favorite mini boss. Um, hmm. Are we including, I guess even if we included stuff, like, I kind of like the mini Dutchman from the Atlantis event, since it pierced through heavy armor and so people actually had to work on it, in some cases. I mean, many people did end up AFKing since you could use, use a photon blaster, and so they just turned on an auto clicker and photon blasted it, uh, like all night, which kind of ruined it, but the fact that it went through the heavy armor and everything made it a pretty cool boss to have. I kind of wish they made that same thing with Anomaly before uh, they added Rebirth, since most people that got to Anomaly already had the Leo's upgrade, so Anomaly even attacking them kind of was pointless. Since really everyone already had the heavy armor, so the fact that the it didn't go through it was kind of weird. Um, but now that they have rebirths, many people are just giving Leo, so it makes sense for Anomaly. It, I mean, I would still prefer it if Anomaly did something different than, than, like, just went through heavy armor, since it still would be cool and wouldn't really affect many people, but, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite mini-boss, the Atlantis Mini Dutchman. Kind of weird how the, I mean, I know they brought back the bosses from the events in some capacity just because for nostalgia and stuff, like even like the Dino King and stuff. But at the same time, um, they really should have done a uh, named it a Jolly Roger boss and or Mini Jolly Roger or something instead of Mini Dutchman since must be a lot of people get confused on that kind of stuff. Um. Honestly, uh, basic gum, like, even trading for basic boss gum is pretty meh, so. And, I mean, to be honest, though, grim loot bags aren't worth much either, so. Depends really how many grim loot bags. I'd say no more than, like, six grim loot bags per boss gum. Maybe, actually, at, like, ten. Ten would be my max on, in more than ten grim loot bags for a boss gum. I'd say it's not worth it, but. You know, especially since it's basic. Basic is pretty easy to get. You can grind uh, the tusks in the ice cave pretty quickly, even without any double items or boss scum, since they drop like one to ten already. So, yeah. Someone was asking about music, I realize it now I should probably just turn down the volume instead of completely deleting it from the OBS. But, you know, it is what it is. It wasn't, I mean, probably wasn't going to be that interesting the music anyways. And since I'm not listening, I'll probably figure out the volume stuff later, so I can add, like, a music overlay to this stuff. Probably also figure out, pick out some more audio stuff from the YouTube's audio library, so there is a few bit more interesting stuff during streams and videos and stuff since usually I've been just relying on two video or two music two audio things from the YouTube library for any time I'm using an audio and stuff. Okay, that's fine. I know many people have school at this time so taking time away to go do stuff is completely fine with me. Uh, it is nice to see people that that feel like they I feel like it's important enough to tell me when they want it to go. Uh, it does feel like a pretty good, nice compliment to see that. Is 
Is it just me? Are we getting ecto bits at a fairly high rate, or maybe that's just me being getting overused to time and thinking time is going a lot slower than it is? Um, yeah, actually, that's probably not that much. Um, that's only what two billion. I only had like eleven billion last time I converted, so it's not that much. Yeah, we'll go convert items now, then we'll probably catch Anomaly on its next spawn. And hopefully... Do Anonymous. I'm um, not really keeping track of how Anonymous is going to be with the Anomaly spawn, so... It doesn't look like we have that few items, despite doing bosses too. Um, I was prepared to have like 100... or only a thousand of each since I was working on bosses quite a bit too, but I guess we're also doing a quicker grind for the stuff rather than working on the Agent HQ, which is much is quite a bit slower. Um, yeah, I guess that's just kind of RNG, I guess, getting only one there. Uh, I know in one of the last streams I've done, I got really lucky with the amount of boss gum I got compared to everything, how much I converted, so probably just karma and everything sorting itself out. Um, yeah, I think this boss, the anomaly, will come in at the either barn or farm. I can't really remember which one comes first down those two. Pretty sure it's barn, but it could always be farm too. Yeah, there it is. Um, if anyone doesn't know, anomaly does spawn in a set order, which is the swamp, ice tundra, barn, farm. Spaceship. Spaceship in the um, river, the Twisting River. Could be either way. But first search, Spaceship, then Twisting River, then Mushroom, and then back to the Swamp for the whole cycle. All the mini bosses have a cycle, and even like Lucky Cat also has a cycle. So, yeah. Don't know. Cycle for the Lucky Cat since I've never really needed to worry about it since I don't have that perk. But I know people say that there is a cycle, and so, yeah. And since Lucky Cat spawns every minute and five seconds, it is a really quick. Um, and just in one wall to go between the Lucky Cat things and just pick it up. Meaning, Lucky Cat is quite a good thing to farm if you want. Um, I don't know how good the drops are from it. As I said, I don't really have it, and I have to rely on what other people tell me about it, but it sounds pretty good. I wonder how, if I'm going to be getting a leaderboard this grind, um, especially with all the bosses and stuff. Probably will be since Leadboard hasn't really been competitive so that competitive since Rebirth added, and most people are spending their time rebirthing rather than grinding Leaderboard stuff. So, yeah. So, probably end up getting somewhere, probably like 10th though, just because we aren't grinding that effectively and taking quite a bit of time out for bosses. Um, yeah. Sorry, someone just asked about this in the server, so... Yeah, I try to help my best. I know I've taken quite a bit of time during my stream just to do Discord stuff. It's probably not the best idea um, for a seamless uh, stream, but at the same time, meh. Um, Anonymous probably spawned. Yeah, there he is. We'll go do him. Um, yeah.
So, anyways, um, let me think. The Easter events, anything like any of the other events they've ever done, I can't see how it couldn't be pretty bad. Uh, I'm expecting it to be share the same map as the last Easter event, and most of the ghosts probably have a, one additional area and probably another quest, but should be pretty similar. May even have the same Easter egg kind of things with that sort of stuff as last year, which would be kind of cool to see. Have the egg hunt thing that they had last year back where you had to go around finding some eggs and collecting some ghosts from areas for some prizes. Um, but yeah, that was a last Easter event it was really cool with how they did it. Having it, like four different quest lines across the four walls that each required you to find some eggs. Um, I know a lot of people had tr trouble finding the eggs, like even I did. Not expecting that you need to use a hoverboard to find, or the jetpack to find some, but you did. So a lot of people had problems with it, especially since the back door. And not many people were in the back door during the event, or most. Not a lot of the people that played the Easter event were in the back door. Most just came for the egg. Um, I know East, the egg hunt has been a really good way for Roblox games to get out there. Like even some of the ones I I know are from the egg hunt last year, like. The Temple Thieves game, whatever on Roblox, which allowed, which was pretty cool to play, and uh, only really found out because of the egg hunt. So, having Roblox being in that last year was pretty amazing, and probably helped it grow quite a bit. So, I'm excited for this year, egg hunt and Easter event for Go Similar, although. Not 100% sure right at this point if Ghost Sim will be part of the egg hunt. Um, it could always not be. I'm expecting it to be, but not 100% sure on that. Uh, back to grinding items, I think. I feel like I have been losing a little bit of loot gum recently, but that might just be me not knowing how much I had in the first place. And rounding wrong or whatever, so... Yeah. So, two more com item converts that I'll be doing. Probably will have similar amounts. Um, honestly, we'll probably get just as unlucky with all of them, since apparently I get really unlucky when I'm doing streams and stuff, and basically recording in the first place. Uh, like, when I'm not recording, I'm, like, actually get quite a bit of stuff. Like, even the... Most stuff I end up getting is not from recording, it's just from when I'm doing playing normally. I guess last stream we ended up getting that pretty lucky gun pull with four boss guns, but probably the only example I can think of. There's probably a term for that, like recording luck or something where you just lose all your it when you're when you're doing it in front of other people and whatever so yeah I'm thinking about trying for cosmic wings with some of my limited stuff but same point um, I know stats always are changing, so it's not always the best to go for stats. At this point, though, I mean, Cosmic Wing is at its probably lowest rarity I'll, or lowest value it'll ever be since the nerf to Rift Gum. So, I'm not entirely sure. Um. What in the world was that that I just read?
but yeah. I'm expecting to get at least like three more boss gum or something from this grind. Um, I would hope for a little bit more, but I'd be fine getting starting the Easter event with like 20-ish, which is since it's about since I do have the double items, that is it triples or adds a 300%. So each one is about six items, which is quite a bit when you have 20 of them. Six times 20 is 120, so basically a free half of a the 250 crate, which does mean I'll have to do quite a bit more grinding, but whatever. We'll see. Um, one thing I'm not going to do is end up buying any of the stuff. Like, I'm not really much of a that pay to win for items and stuff. I'm more get the stuff that's long term and I can get more use out of. We'll stick with grinding. I probably won't even buy like the event paths. Um, I know the event paths would really help for in terms of getting stuff. And there are quite a few people with a lot of boss gum that will definitely be able to make use of that. But people with a lot more boss gum than me, like even some people, they're at the point where they can give 100 away to like a friend or whatever just because um, and still have decent amounts left. Yeah, we'll definitely see about the boss gum a little bit. Honestly, it'd probably be more worthwhile for me to just end up trading my boss gum at the start of the event for good stuff rather than grinding myself. But grinding, I feel like, would be more fun and would actually contribute to my um, YouTube channel rather than just trading for better pets. Um, especially if the the 250 mythical pet from this event has higher stats than the mini Dutchman. It would be nice to get like a team of three or four of those. Even if it does take me like close to 40 hours worth of time. Um, I can definitely schedule out 40 hours worth of time during the month to grind. Especially if I can manage to get a stream off of each one. Uh, especially during Easter since apparently updates really help out video's performance for whatever reason. I mean, it's not like an update would cause more people to be searching the content, correct? No, that can't be the case. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll try to do a few streams during the Easter event. Probably around one week and then do some off stream grinding too between them. Um, really depends on how much time I get from the clusters I have. Can't imagine it'll I'll be too over swamped to not be able to stream at all or have enough free time to get a video out. So plan on doing one video, one stream each week for a while. Um, during the summer, streams and videos will definitely pick up as I get more free time. Um, but yeah, since I really don't want to maintain a schedule and I am currently not able to do YouTube full-time since I probably won't ever be able to do YouTube full-time, it'll probably always just be a side project, even once I get big enough to monetize. At this rate actually might happen this year, which which is definitely weird for me to think about being able to monetize on YouTube. Um, even for if it was just like $10 a month or whatever, that's still a small amount that can go towards stuff. Honestly, I don't know how many much YouTubers make. Usually people are pretty guarded about how much money they make currently, since that's currently a hot topic in the US. Um, 
Currently, I make zero dollars from YouTube, since you can't monetize until you hit a thousand public subscribers, and or not a thousand public, a thousand subscribers and forty thousand public watch hours. I think. Um, I'm about twice the rate of public watch hours as I am for subscribers, so people subscribing definitely helps out a ton, and a lot of you guys are, which is really nice to see of a lot of people making it out to each and every stream, even if it's just to come in and say hi for the first five minutes and see what's going on, it is definitely nice to see. Um, yeah. yeah, purple, purple, purple is, it, it's definitely sus, um, but purple is also pretty amazing, so you kind of have to give him a break for being slightly sus. Doesn't help that pug is so delicious, though, so. Um, yeah. Maybe I could switch that on a little at some point, but. Um, yeah, I've. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't gotten specific permission to do that yet, but I could do that. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll not do that. Um, I know I could, probably pretty easily, no one would really care, but we'll not do that. Um, that is probably a pretty good way to ruin something or another by doing that, but, you know. Today's Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday. Alright, we could probably do that tomorrow, like, ten minutes before, and see what people's reactions are to it. Hello, um, I haven't seen you before, or if I have, I have forgotten you. Um, nice to see you, Nukebot. Um, yeah, um, definitely been really a fan of Purple ever since it came out. I don't even know, I think, I don't know why it came out in the first place, I think Mackie just decided to throw it in there for whatever reason, but ever since it came out, it's definitely been a pretty awesome thing to have. Um, been, I know myself, been pretty much the biggest reason why it's come back quite a few times, um, and I really just make them run out. But, yeah, it's definitely always cool to see it come back twice, um, and partnered with, like, the pug nonetheless, and... It's just kind of cool, cool to see that sort of impact on Ghost Simulator from basically a random pet. Uh, Pug it was the first pet added into the game and has been kind of a joke, running joke in the community for like forever. But Purple being somewhat new, it's kind of nice to see it. But at least that can be important too. Honestly, it's really cool to see the amount of detail that's gone into some of the recent pets. They've always been really unique recently compared to a lot of the pets during the beginning of the game were kind of basic. Um, like even like Dragon Lantern and all that stuff. I mean, it's pretty cool to see them, but it's probably, it might be they are considered basic just because they've been around for a long time, but the steady increase in the amount of difference that has gone into all the pets is pretty nice to see. Probably has something to do with the amount of concept art that they've been relying on. Uh, as they start running lower on ideas, and so they can bring in quite a bunch of new stuff, which is actually pretty amazing that the amount of concept art that they add to the game. Um, I know I can't do art myself, so never really got concept art myself in, but the amount of people that contribute just by uh, giving their ideas for pets and boards and stuff is quite astonishing. Um, two minutes, both the bosses will spawn in the, or probably the anonymous has already spawned in the farm, but we'll go, I'll go take a break, go do both those bosses. 
Um, probably actually. Yeah, I won't use the boss skin on that. Even though it's a pretty good opportunity to get both Anomaly and Anonymous in the same boss scum. I don't think it's really worth it at this point to be doing it. Um, just since uh, Easter is coming up and the value of it will go up quite a bit. Uh, what board do I have? Um, currently I've equipped the Coven K Corrupted board that I got from the developer crates, which is um, mostly because Coven K is an awesome developer and has been really nice for the community. Um, in terms of other stuff, I do have a board, which I guess everyone really has since it's basically a free board if you look up a tutorial on it. And then in my la latest video, I got a Sky Surfer from the second board crate. Um, and then I have a ton of limiteds from a lot of the events since I've played during those and just kind of traded for it. For instance, the Santa Slay was from 2019 which is definitely a cool thing to have. Um, it's a really big board and allows me to glitch out of a lot of places, so it's probably my favorite. Um, and then I also have, as I said, quite a few limiteds um, that are from random events and stuff. I only really have two shop ones since I decided, eh, let's just go for them and get about a billion of each. Since, why not? Um, yeah. So I have, uh, probably around one of each from every single port. Uh, board crate two, since those are nice to collect. For instance, I also have Ghost Legas too, that's a bigger one. Um, since apparently the, I got lucky in getting that and the Chrome K from that. Um, I have the Luna 2, Ghost Slayer grinded for, Garen Fern and Sun Slayer traded for from those events, Splice I grinded for, and then deleted, and then traded back for. Um, what other stuff do I have? Bitbox wasn't, isn't that hard to get. Uh, Airplane I have from grinding for it. I have quite a few champions from my grind yesterday. And going through around 85 great keys worth of stuff. Egg drops, I collected like a billion of, so they're not really cool. And I think that's really it. That's really all that awesome. As I said, a lot of random events and limiteds and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who do I think is the last imposter? Um, personally? My bet would be on Snowflake being an imposter, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that one yet. How many Dino bags I got? Ten. Um, I I usually end, I ended up opening most of my other ten before, so I like ten before opening those up. Um, not really much. Yeah, uh, this is my favorite thing about the addition of the mini bosses. You can actually, in this one area, reach two of them at the same time if you have the double range. Which, I know many people don't have those game passes, but even if you can't reach both of them, you can still use a boss gum on getting two of them. So, it's definitely nice to have these new mini bosses out. Yes, I am vacuuming two bosses at once. Uh, with the double range, it allows you to do this. Um, this is the only case of this being a, actually a thing that you can do, um, but I think it's quite cold enough in the last. Um, I would, but I'm saving my boss gum for the event. Otherwise, I would definitely work. Yeah, the problem is, um, with that, you run out of charge, and so you have to stop vacuuming and come back. Um, unless you perfectly time it, I guess, but it's kind of hard to do that, so. 
Oh. Yeah, um... I was sure that the snowflake I had was the imposter. I mean, look at it. It's so sus. Like, how do you... How did it even... But... There you go. Looks like purple one. Um... I'm not really into Among Us memes too much, but I guess I kind of have to stick with joking around with the... Um, but yeah. Um... About 30 more minutes worth of grinding, and then we can convert again. I know this has been a little bit stuffed up recently. Probably just seasonal stuff. So if I sound nasal, that's why. Uh, yeah, um, with the double items game pass and glitchy loot, it's really quick to go grind items, so, um, yeah, getting quite a bit of items, uh, converting them quite a bit, it is definitely really amazing to get this much gum. Even if I won't use half of it, like the thousand or so, uh, common gums I have, but still. Yeah, really the only one I'm might end up running out of at some point that is kind of harder or kind of easy to get is loot gum just because you end up using it for grinding for gum um compared to all the other stuff like boss gum you run out of pretty quickly um but other than that it's you really don't run out of any of the other stuff any of the other gums really at all since you never use them i mean i've been running slightly low on x gum too uh, mostly just because I was grinding for Ghostly recently. Wait. I know some people can do that in less than 30 cells, which is ridiculous. Um, but, yeah. Purple is eating Pug. Purple eats Pug. Pugs taste delicious. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have a problem giving away Zoom Gum. Honestly, you can have all thousand. I will never use it. I I don't really know anyone that would end up using Zoom Gum, so... Uh, it literally has... I probably would use it for maybe six minutes. Maybe. To grind up for the hoverboard every rebirth. Which is only three gum, which... You, I probably get from an hour worth of grinding for like five or 10 worker births or something, so. Yes, and purple is eating it. What does that tell you about purple? Yeah, um, final boss is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of just random jokes running around the community about all random bits, so. But, I figure I've been making mine for a long time, and I know they aren't really funny after repeating them a million times, but, you know, might as well. Um, I think I'll end up doing a stream tomorrow, too. Uh, really depends. I think I should be able to do it. And probably only do like a three hour stream, short time. Uh, but yeah. I mean, maybe Easter event will come out and I the stream will be kind of completely spoiled, but you know. Oh yeah, there is so many vehicle boards coming out in the recent times. We've had a heli board, we've had a tonk, um, we've had the Deb uh, Mackie was working on creating a uh, truck. Um, yeah, there's there's been a lot of vehicle vehicle on boards. Hello, random. Uh, no, I can't really delete gum. It's just I won't use it. 
Um, yeah, so, uh, basically anything other than my, the loot gum, I'm, I'd be fine giving away, like, back gum, glitchy zoom gum, nitro gum if you guys want. I don't think anyone has any sort of use for glitchy nitro gum, though, since, I mean, why in the world would you need this? Uh, but yeah, you guys can, if anyone needs any of those gums, definitely feel free to take them. Um, I'm not going to delete them since I can't delete them, but, like, can anyone in honestly tell me that they need this in their life? Uh, do I think it might come out Monday? Maybe. Um, I don't know exactly when it's been going to come out. I was hoping it would come out er earlier this week, um, since... Yeah, now I have to wait for the gum to wear off since I decided to be trolly with it. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need that many of it. Um, so, it I would guess it will come out in the next week. Of course, I said that last week too, so I really don't know. Um, it's all really hypothetical. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I do use a little bit of glitchy X gum, but I can't imagine I'll need any more than, like, max 100, 100 so you can definitely have some X gum, too. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Um, I'm planning on doing, giving away some stuff, uh, since I tried to do that every stream, give away a bit of stuff, um, just to keep, yeah, I know, grinding hexagum is really helpful for some people, so I can give some that way, uh, especially some of the ghosty stuff that I will never use, um, but yeah, definitely some of the glitchy stuff too, since I'm basically done worrying about currencies, the only real time I'll use them is during bosses, and I'll definitely have enough to be able to use it. Um, even like glitchy gem gum, I never use it. It's, I mean, why do you need to quadruple? I guess now that Rift gum has been nerfed, I should probably be using it for unboxing. Like, I could have probably had an easy 3 million more gems if I'd used a glitchy gem gum on my loot bags and stuff, but it doesn't really make a big deal. Yeah. I can definitely, I can definitely spare 20 X gum. Glitchy X gum. Uh, in about an hour and 30 minutes, I'm planning on uh, taking a break do, and then coming back to do a, or doing a giveaway, then going and taking a break. And then coming back and grinding the final boss and getting some of those for another two hours to get some of those keys. Since I can definitely use um, a little bit more of my journal filled out. Yeah. Um, yeah, welcome back, Roblox Legend. Uh, I know it's not really the best time for streams for people to be able to stay during the whole thing, so I know lots of you guys have other stuff to have to do, but it is what it is. Um, I've been... Yeah, I've been grinding gum for quite a bit. Um, about an hour, hour and 30 minutes of grinding gum and bosses, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, you're definitely welcome with, for the gum. Um, when I finally get away, get, get to that. I don't think anyone really, uh, like, end game players really need to have as much gum as they do. Uh, which is why most people end up trading it. The only ones that really have a giant value, though, is the loot gum, so that's the main one I'm trying to hold on to most of mine. Not really giving those away, but... Maybe in small quantities, like 15 or so, but... Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm 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 really glad I don't have school this week and can do these live streams. Uh definitely been really awesome to see people come out to them and just get a lot of feedback on them. Yeah, I'd barely, I, I go ahead and have school definitely during the Easter, Easter, fall, uh, doo -doo 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 event, um, so, may not be able to grind that as much as I've been grinding recently, but I definitely should still have time to get a, a decent team of those mythical pets, and get a few streams in, since I know that would be slightly more interesting than what this is currently, maybe not. A lot more interesting, but definitely more interesting in terms of grinding the boss. So, yeah, grinding Easter is definitely going to be fun. Yeah, breaking your hand is not that fun. I have not broken my hand, per se. Um, I've had a few fractures and broken my thumb. Um, yeah. I've had a deep cut on the back of my in the heel um, from slipping. Uh, it slid under uh, pretty sharp s the bottom of the stair, like metal stairs. And then when I p brought my foot up, it just kind of sunk into the heel. That's like probably the worst injury I've had. Um, sorry if anyone has that image in their head, I realize that probably wasn't the best thing to mention on a stream, since that could be considered pretty gory and stuff, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, breaking, breaking your, having injuries like that is definitely not fun. Um, during, uh, better story time, that isn't gory. Um, since breaking bones is apparently better than blood. Yeah! I know, right? The the April Fool stuff. So it makes everyone take a double take and look at the day. Um, but yeah, while snowboarding, I used to do that uh, every winter. Or not? I not used to. I mean, all right. I did that at some point. Um, but I was kind of fell down and I really hurt my hand from just falling on it weirdly and. First I'm like, yeah, it's probably broken, and then later I'm like, yeah, it probably isn't, and then when I finally had it got chucked down, they're like, yeah, it's it's kind of a little bit bad, so you should keep it rusted. Um, yeah, breaking stuff isn't fun. Okay. Definitely know what you mean, what it's like to have something broken. Um, during, like, PE last, or, not last year, wow, that was so long ago. Uh, two years ago, uh, I basically broke, I think that was the same snowboarding thing, uh, I had my broken arm during the whole, like, PE stuff, and it's a pain to do physical education when you have a, when you break something, because you end up having to sit the whole thing down, and it's just, it's just not fun. Um, because you feel like you have to do something different than everyone else, and being single bound isn't isn't very good and fun in school, so, yeah. I definitely have quite a bit of stories for stuff like that. At one point I fell out of a tree when I was much younger. Um, that's when I fractured my arm, just falling on it weird. Uh, one of the things, one of a branch broke underneath me. I guess I really shouldn't be climbing trees. And so, I ended up having to go to the hospital instantly since it really hurt. And that was no fun. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was just a fracture, so nothing really. Just needed time to heal. Don't really know the difference between them, so. Fracture and a break. It's probably the same thing, and I'm just not medical at all and misusing them all. Uh, but, yeah, that was. That was an interesting time. Uh, then, when I was much younger, like five or something. I was doing stupid stuff, jumping between, like, concrete picnic tables, and probably my parents warned me, like, you shouldn't be doing that, you'll hurt yourself. And lo and behold, I fall and break my thumb. Yeah, that's, those are my stories of breaking stuff. I don't think it's been anything worse than those. Um, no, they're not the, 
One of the most interesting stories, but yeah, that's that's, that's, that's about it. Oh, one trillion ecto. Oh, I was talking about milestones earlier, and it's really awesome hitting those milestones. Um, like recently, in the last week or something, I hit two trillion ectoplasm. <laughs> okay. Um, I realized I'm now almost up to three trillion, but hitting, hitting those uh, milestones, especially once you hit one trillion, is really satisfying. So I definitely understand what where you're at. Um, I think the leaderboard's getting closer to 100 trillion, which is ridiculous to think about. I've done some math on that, and that's like 800 hours worth of grinding for me. Um, a little bit less since I can grind faster than I was originally planning, but or not eight, no not 800 hours for top leaderboard. 800 hours for leaderboard period was what I made it out to be, which is quite ridiculous. So yeah, everyone's accomplishment getting accomplishments on this game is pretty amazing. Um, I can't see myself ever getting up to 10 trillion ectoplasm. Even with all the stuff, all the like the rebirths and stuff, I probably won't ever be able to get that high. But, yeah. I'm also glad to hear that you're doing something else during my stream since I know I like to grind Ghost Simulator while watching YouTube if I have time. Um, and so I encourage everyone else to do the same. Um, which board should I pick? Actually, someone tag. Okay, just an event announcement in Discord. Um, yeah, I try to keep up with Discord while doing this. Uh, I'm usually on Discord quite a bit, but let's go see if we can switch jump this picture. Do 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 do. Where, where are we looking for? Um. Yes, that would work. Um, yeah, that single stuff like that. I'll size it down a little bit so it's it's not as obvious how bad it is. But there we go. Um, yeah, I'm not really good at art. Most of my stuff is like even that one I made, but like that's really not hot hard. I traced and then filled in with colors. Um, it's about the extent of my art skills in terms of stuff. So. Yeah. I try to be careful and not break any copyright laws in my time on Discord, so I stick to stuff either I've made or I, I have seen and giving some credit. I know when it's stuff that I've made, I don't really need to worry about it too much, so yeah. Um, I do quite a bit of cubing, or okay, quite a bit. Um, I've tried to get better at cubing. I know how to solve it pretty quickly, like a 40 second time normally. Um, but I've been trying to learn a lot of the newer algorithms and just because of how many I'd have to learn, like it's close to, close to a hundred algorithms I'd have to learn to get the, the, the next step. Um, kind of stalled at around learning like 20 of them, so yeah. All right, looks like I was wrong in saying that the spaceship was first, uh, Twisting Rivers first before the spaceship, but I don't think anyone actually cares about that at this point, so we'll just... We'll just move on. Um, I know grinding anomaly used to be a lot more efficient than it is, but I'll I'll still grind it since um, I'm I'm honestly hoping the rift gum gets buffed again. Since currently it is like the compared to the best grinder right now, um, it's really hard to get gems for everyone else. Grinding river so is actually going to be a really good way to get better at the game since going for the tycoons. Have I ever tried Ghost Sim on mobile? Um, I mean, I've played Ghost Sim on mobile, mostly just to trade and stuff when I've got a deal that I'm not have my phone on me, or not have my computer on me, but I really haven't played it on mobile. I've always been on a computer. Yeah, and I heard it was, it's quite a bit more difficult, especially for bosses and when you have to unbox, since you don't have auto clicker or anything like that, it's quite a pain to play, so. Kind of feel bad for people who have to get who get have to play like that, but at the same time, I'm mean, that's just kind of what you have to deal with when you have a mobile device and you have to game. Um, 
I know some games are optimized for mobile and stuff like that, which is and are annoying to play on PC compared to others, which, like, there's some games that are just better to play on other things than others. Most it's PC, though. So. Is that a purple monkey? I really, I don't understand some of the YouTube stuff, so, um, just kind of smile and wave has been my mentality with most things. Yeah, it's, it's actually been pretty nice streaming. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I haven't done on this rebirth that I really need to do. Ghostly was a big one, grinding gum's been a big one, getting better pets has been a big one. But other than that, I can't really think of anything. Like, getting upgrades and stuff for the Easter event, maybe? But I've already got all those, and I can't think of anything else I need to do. Um, maybe redoing some quest lines, like Fern or something, for lore and stuff? But, yeah. I... Uh, I don't have... I do not have that many, um, I'm not that good at art, and I can't make art in five seconds, so, it, you guys are stuck with stuff that I've created a long time ago, and just randomly have sitting on my computer in terms of the, the random picture up on the side. Uh, about 15 more minutes till we convert items again, which, if we have the same amount that we had last time, will be go pretty nicely. Hopefully we can get a bit more boss gun than last time, since last time we barely got one. But, yeah. Yeah, most of my- most of the work that I'll do with images and stuff is mostly just going to be adding images together or filling stuff. Nothing really too- too big. I think the- yeah. I'm not that good at art. Like, there are some people that are just amazing at art and just do wonderful things. That is definitely not going to be me. Um, no, okay. It's pretty close, though. Um, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I talk to myself a lot, even, like, during, not even in streams and stuff. I've ended up talking to myself a lot, which no one else understands, and it's always out loud, and it's... I'm fine with it, but apparently it's really confusing for other people. So. Yeah. When you hear me say something like, oh, that won't work, or something like that, um, that's just me talking to myself mentally, really, and just formulating plans and stuff. I know I'd probably do that a lot more than I than actually talk to you guys, but yeah. Reminds me that I should have been planning on doing a few things. Um, 30 more minutes. Okay. Before I have to go do that. And I just did it. Uh, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I've been trying to think of video ideas recently. Um, I had one I kind of forgotten about now. Which is kind of annoying since I remember it being a decent idea for a video better than my last one, which was way too short. I was planning on that being like a 10 minute video, and then I got through editing, and I'm like, this is four minutes, and I don't want to spend another two hours figuring out how to edit this into a five minute video. And so I just kind of gave up on it. I feel like it did turn out pretty good. I know there's a few spots where the audio is bad and stuff. Um, especially Right at the beginning, I didn't spend that much time working on the audio and the video, so it turned out pretty bad, but I'm like, most of it turned out pretty good. Um, in terms of... In terms of yeah, I, okay, never mind. I remember how what the video idea was. Uh, I was planning on going over the rebirth options once, uh, not, uh, not again, but in its own separate video, just to let everyone know what the best options really are for every specific scenario. I know I've already covered rebirths in quite a bit, in at least two other videos, but since I know many people still have questions, and I know when I went through it the first time, um, I said a lot of things that were technically not really true, since they are...
since I've learned a little bit since then. Um, so we won't worry about that. Um, what are, out of curiosity, I, I mean, mine is obviously purple. Uh, what are all of your guys' favorite pets in Ghost Simulator? Like, either in terms of looks or that you find nice to have or just stat-wise that you, you have. Um, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on those. I, all the pets look pretty amazing if you take the time to look at them. Um, but I know lots of them don't really deserve, or not deserve, sorry, get that much attention since... Um, they aren't really that big, and no one really has cared to go point them out and stuff, so. What is, what is your guys' favorite pets, or even like boards that really doesn't get enough attention, I guess? It could be based on the stats, but I'd prefer it based on your guys' personal opinion on like looks and stuff. I mean, it's really cool to see, um, oh yeah, I know, once you, I know a lot of people, once they just start, it's kind of, kind of a big thing, um, it's a really good game for everyone that's really far into it, so, um, but yeah, getting into Ghost Simulator was, for the first time, was pretty, pretty weird for me, at least, um, first time I got in, I was, I saw the whole thing, and I was just so confused with how big it was, at this point, it all seems normal to me, but, Getting into it is definitely really been different. Okay, someone says the golden turkey bus, so like the golden gobble or whatever it was. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, all the boat pets are pretty, pretty weird and pretty nice. Um, but I can definitely see why you choose that one specifically. Um, yeah. I mean, ever since Bo was added, like, the first time they added Bo, they just kind of did it as a NPC. And then every time after that, like, the community just kind of really liked the Bo, so it really got added to the lore and just kind of grew from there. It's been pretty cool to see how Bo has grown. And, I mean, I wasn't there for the first Bo, but the second Bo, the first time he gave a Bo pet, it was, I've been there and collected, so I think I have all of them. I meant not, I... I hope I have all of them. I may have accidentally deleted. I wouldn't really know. Um, but yeah, we have Aqua Bow, Golden Gold Gobble Bow, Spy Bow, Santa Bow, Snow Bow, Spooky Bow, Turkey Bow. I think that's it. Bow. All right. So it looks like we have another person saying Golden Turkey Bow. Yeah. Um, It is actually, I mean, with the golden feathers and such, it's kind of comical. And I know, like, stat-wise, it was pretty good and pretty easy for many people to get, so. A lot of, lots of the quest pets are, uh, in my opinion, overstatted, but that's come from someone that's u now using dev heads who said the dev heads were overstat, had it overstat, um, which I guess is now kind of comical to think about. Uh, so we'll go over and use some glitchy gum. Yeah, there really isn't a specific bow pet, I don't think. But yeah, all the bow pets have been pretty nice to see come out. Um, especially all the new, uh, like, the not bow, spy bow, stuff like that. All those, the new uh, -doo -doo -doo, twists that they've put into bows. Um, lore has been really awesome to see them improve it and stuff. Especially with the final thing about the him becoming a boss and uniting Ghost Ghost Simulator, this has been kind of weird and pretty awesome to see. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um. I mean, not not that hard to defeat a boss, I guess. But it's definitely nice to 
that I was synced up. That's kind of pretty funny. Um, I mean, obviously not truly synced up since there is a little bit of time delay between what I'm doing and what the stream is seeing. So that you have to count that in. But yeah, definitely defeating bosses is pretty nice. Oh, yeah, nice. I occasionally go on walks with my puppy. Um, or, well, she's not really a puppy, she's like seven. But, uh, with my dog, and it's really nice to get outside and just do something. So, yeah, I can definitely go on. Oh, the board? Okay, sorry. Sorry for misunderstanding what you're talking about, but yeah. the Especially the concept behind the board with the puzzle and stuff has been really, really awesome to go through. I mean, obviously, I'm not smart enough to understand the puzzles myself, so I kind of just use someone else's guide, but um, the fact that it is there and basically anyone can discover the puzzle if they want to is a pretty neat idea. I think there might be a few other puzzles like that, I guess, in the game, but I don't think so. I mean, the maze is somewhat like that, but it's kind of required and more of a pain than anything else. Um, I've been planning on doing a maze of it, at, or like the map of it overview, so people can easily figure it out themselves, or pretty easily figure it out. Um, yeah. The bow board. Yeah, I just, I don't know how to pronounce it. I usually do the bow ward, and, and it just, it sounds weird to say bow ward. And if you stay bored, no one understands. If I guess you could stay bored, and people might, and it sounds somewhat better, and people can understand. But yeah, I don't. How, I I guess asking you guys how you pronounce it really isn't the. You can't really tell people how you pronounce it in chat. So yeah, I'll stick to my completely wrong pronunciation of it. Oh, three days ago? Yeah, um, with the nice drop, getting on the daily leaderboard is always nice. Uh, especially with the new reverse, a lot of new people have been able to do it, and I even took the time to go grind up on the leaderboard for number one at one point. So, definitely good job getting on the daily leaderboard. Um, glad to see that people are grinding Ghost Simulator even, even with the new stuff, so good job on that. Only for like five minutes. Uh, yeah, it's a bit competitive, I've not really since they added the rebirths, so some of the really competitive players have switched over to grinding rebirths compared to getting on the leaderboard. Um, all it really takes is like an hour worth of grinding to get onto the leaderboard at, at some rate. Um, looks like we will be going doing a gum trip though now, um, so if you just take the time it's pretty easy to get there, and definitely satisfying when it happens. But with all these streams I've been getting on there quite regularly, um, I don't think a day has gone by where I haven't. Actually, maybe the day I didn't stream, but other than that, I don't think there's been a day. Uh, we'll convert all of our items, hopefully get like three, um, probably we'll get one, hopefully we'll get two, I guess is the main goal. Um, three would be pretty awesome to see, but yeah, two. Two is pretty good. Um, that brings us up to 19, which my goal is to get 20 before the end of the day, which means just in the next hour grinding, we have to just get one, which shouldn't be too hard. We'll probably do that without using any glitchy gum. Um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, getting number one is actually a big, big thing. Um, like, I know I did it once, and it's definitely fun. Yeah, grind for ghostly is definitely something I'd encourage everyone to do uh, now that we have the rebirths and so just take your time on your like your current life before rebirthing to grind for ghostly if you want. Um, especially with Easter coming up you can definitely delay and wait for Easter a little bit by doing stuff like grind for ghostly or airplane if you have the pets. Or if you don't you can actually just spend time grind for the pets then grind for the board. Um, but yeah, with gum out and everything, ghostly isn't that hard to get anymore. Uh, if you open a hundred 
um, with the, I'm assuming you'll do it with a friend bonus, and then also, maybe not with the double gems coming effect later. Um, it gives you about 25,000 without anything, so with the friend bonus, a 25% boost to that would be a, about 30,000. Um, roughly, it's probably closer to like 32,000. And then times four would give you up to, um, 100, about 130,000, I guess, per a box without double gems, and then with double gems that's 260,000 per a loot bag, um, which is actually a pretty good amount, and so times that by 100, that's about 13 million gems, which is a decent amount, um, since that's pretty good, uh, especially compared to the, with the nerf to the rift gum, it really isn't that important to use a rift gum on the anomaly loot bags anymore, since rift gum only does a 10 times modifier. Not 10 times multiplier for glitchy gum, or for the glitchy rift. So, yeah. 13 million, about, which is a pretty good amount. Um, it's not a lot compared to some of the grinders who can get like 10 million per cell, or other ridiculous numbers like that with the new, act or the token, the tokens and stuff. So, yeah. been talking so much that I've forgotten to use gum more often than not. Um, not really a big problem since, as I said, I basically already got the amount I need wanted to get. But, at the same time, it is kind of annoying to see myself forgetting gum. Since it could be potentially mean the difference between getting good gum and getting bad gum. It's been really fun seeing Ghost Simula grow. Like, at first, uh, when like the final boss was released, I felt like it should have just kind of stopped there. But with the f with what they've added later, it really has definitely been pretty good. I would have been fine if they had stopped around, uh, stopped working on the game so much around when, after they released the final boss, since that was a decent conclusion to the game. But with all the new stuff that they've been adding, it has been sort of nice. Um, the biggest thing about games like this is you have to kind of build into your game some way to get more content out of it, even if everything sort of runs dry. And thinking of new ways to move the plot along is kind of hard. If you have no luck gem pass and use no lucky gem, how many gems do I need then to get feather shock board thing? Um, I think with the rarity with my 10%. I'm assuming you're in the group, so you'll get that 10% bonus. Um, but then I'd have a 2.5 times 2, I'd have a 5 times multiplier on top of you, I think. Um, with the 2 times luck and lucky gum. Um, I'll go check real quickly and then we'll divide my... Yeah, once this gum runs out, I'll go check the chance of that. Um, but, so... If you aren't using Lucky Gum or Lucky Boost, assuming you still have the 10% bonus from the group, it would take you about um, 5,525, 5, 5, 500 crates, I think. Um, or wait, that, that would be a four since I have two times luck. So, five up to there, five up to there, so 25, 250, 2,500. So, 25,000 crates, multiply that by the 500 it costs to get from the, open the crate once. So, 25,000 times 500, um, add both the zeros. You get to 2,500 million, 2,500,000, 2, 2, and then multiply it by 5, gives you about 12,500,000 12, without any luck. Lucky game passes, or the lucky gum. 
to get a feather stock. So yeah, you'd get you'd you'd have about enough. I mean, you might get a little bit earlier, and if you bought game passes, that would be pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, so there's some math for you guys. I know it's not the best math; it's not 100% accurate, especially since that 10% base does play effect. But you know, quick math on the stream. Um, 12.5 million. Uh, yeah, there always seems to be more homework that you get. I'm assuming that. You... So. Yeah, get on that. Um, I don't encourage people to spend their time on YouTube rather than getting stuff in real life done, like homework, since homework is kind of important for classes and getting knowledge and being able to get into a job. Even if currently in most of, the, well, most of the United States, getting a job really isn't that impactful, since apparently minimum wage is below living wages in most states. In Washington here, it's actually quite nice to have it quite a bit higher. Um, so, but... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so, with the changes to the school stuff, lots of weird things have happened, and so... Yeah. I haven't really done homework for any of my classes, this fight should, maybe should have been doing this stuff, but... Um, yeah, I have... I've definitely ignored some homework that I probably should have done for some of my classes. Especially, like, my math class. I definitely wasn't doing as much homework as I should. Um, Mike, still working? Yeah, okay. Looks like the mic's still working. I just try to make sure that the audio's coming over fine since that's one thing that I can't check with having the stream open. Um, but yeah. We're still going pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah. It's about time for me to go do that. Eight minutes left for that. Um, just keeping an eye on something on Discord. Sorry if I'm talking about it. Uh, yeah, we'll go defeat this and go over to Anonymous. Um, I mean, we've got 26 Anonymous loot bags from this. Or, not from this, I guess. We've only got 18 or something. But it's nice to pick up those loot bags, especially if we want to go up and them. I mean, not like I ever get anything good. I, as I've said on the Discord a few times, I've gone through like 250 loot bags and got literally nothing other than legendaries, which is quite unlucky. Um, but still, I'll grind them because I could probably end up trading them at some point if I needed to, so... Um... When I'll give the gum, about an hour, I'm thinking. So, right before I take my break, around 30 minutes after the next hour. So, a little less than an hour, and then I'll be able to, and then I'll be giving away the gum that I promised. And if anyone wants some of the legendaries from the Void Crate, um, pretty cool looking board, honestly. Um,. Maybe a bit common for how good it looks, but it's not a bad looking board for new players. Sharp edges are not the best to be having to make onto a board, so. Yeah. Um, I just more of just don't want to interrupt my grind currently than anything else. That's why I plan the giveaways ahead of time. Um, also does help with the video research rate, but, but um, <laughs> yeah. D d okay, so um, let's just go open a crate, and we got a couple stacks. Uh, yeah, I've gone through those crates a bit. Uh, just I was can, uh, when I need to get some of my stuff. Um, for one of the quests, I actually had to open up uh, one of those crates, and I got a nice zoomer. It's always nice when you go open up a random crate and get a godly for whatever reason. 
So that doesn't happen that much, man. But, yeah. Um, anyways, I should do 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 do. Properties, browse. There we go. Change out the random picture I've up on the side. I know it's not the. <laughs> What's the easiest classified to get there? Um, yeah, okay. I see that my mic started to glitch. Um, probably has something to do with Bluetooth interference or me just doing something weird on my end. But what's the easiest classified to get? In my opinion, easiest classified to get would be the fe or the feather shock from Ford Crate One. Um, yeah, that's definitely my case. Um, in terms of, I mean, for me, it definitely is about the same difficulty to get any of those from the main hub crates, since it's mostly about time I spend rather than the amount of gems I need, since I can get quite a bit of gems pretty quickly. I know I don't get a lot of gems really quickly, like some people I know, um, who can get millions of so, but... And definitely do a good job on getting some gems, so all those are about the same difficulty. Um, yeah, so if you're talking about pets, I would say just because of how many gems are out there, any of the main hub stuff is pretty easy to get. Purple box? Um, that's crate... Nine, I think, is the one with purple. So, yeah, I don't really follow. Um, I'm kind of slow on understanding jokes and stuff, so bear with me. Um, as I ha have the joke completely go right over my head. But, yeah. So, um, I guess you could argue some of the item class. There are classified items currently in the game, which everyone really has, so you could argue that those are easier to get. Um, especially the stuff from like the Christmas event, the items that were in the Christmas event were considered classified in, since if you played the, or that was 2020, so if you played the Christmas event you technically already had classifieds. Um, and the Luna's Key and the Bo's Void Cane uh, are both classifieds too. Yeah, classified is now in a box. It is a gift wrap purple from the last Christmas event, but it's in a box. Um, there's also a pug in a box, which is pretty cool too. I have both of those. Um, pretty, pretty nice to collect the pug and purple sets that came out recently, which is pretty nice. Uh, in the second board crate, the skyscraper one. Um, skyscraper, skyscraper, skyscraper. The sky surfer, sorry. Um, the, yeah, I, I have that one. I picked it up from in my last stream. It's definitely a cool looking board. I mean, it's not really worth much just since gems have been become a lot easier to get since they were added. I guess the same thing really goes with every item like that. They've gotten a lot easier to get. Other than maybe Cosmic Wings, which has actually gotten harder to get now that since it's been added, which, <laughs> I mean, kind of funny to think about, in my opinion, but, uh, to, yeah, okay, maybe data link 2 would be a easier classified to get, so, uh, yeah, playing with friends is actually really fun, um, I would, I kind of wish I had a, a few more to play with, um, no one, re none of mine really play Ghost Simulator, not like Ghost Simulator is really something you play with friends anyways, which, Kind of probably why I like it since I don't you know worry about having friends and stuff. Um, but like playing Minecraft and stuff, like with friends has been pretty awesome. And if you like Among Us, doing that with friends is I heard is pretty cool. So yeah, don't feel bad about going and playing with your friends. Definitely enjoy the time that you have. Um, There's a lot of classified items when you think about it. Um, even just in the void, like each of the devs has like 
almost two. There's like, okay, there is exactly two classified items per a dev. Um, Coven, the first four, Coven, Diddy, Mackie, and then Joven each have a code that you need for the next dev, and then a their little remnant. And then Adam only has a remnant, and then there's the classified item in the maze. So, 10 total classified items just in the void alone. So, yeah. So if you've ever done the bow boss, um, you've collected a total of 10 classified items just to do that boss once. Anonymous respawn? Probably not. Um, I don't remember doing him recently, so definitely hasn't. Probably hasn't respawned. Yet, so we'll go back to the random items. Um, yeah. Which is what is? I know a lot of you guys like to see me grind bosses rather than anything else. I've seen quite a few suggestions compared to like grinding gum or anything like that. So I'll probably schedule some more of that into streams, depending on when Easter drops, of course. With Easter dropping, it'll definitely switch over to Easter grinding and egg hunt stuff, rather than this stuff. Yeah, I, I did mention that, but yeah, that's definitely a good one that's, that a lot of people get. Um, there are quite a few classified items that I didn't really don't need to be classified, but it's more for the lore that they're classified than because they're rare. Actually, quite quite how quite a bit of the things are in this game. They're classified not because they're rare, but just because of the lore and stuff. Like adding the new rarities, adding the like, the divine and corrupt rarities really wasn't needed. They could have just borrowed the classified and stuff, but just to distinguish and to make a big difference, they kind of had to do that. Like with all the mythicals, the they now have like four separate rarities for stuff, which is mythicals, corrupts. Classifieds and the Divine, not in that order, I know, so, but it's kind of needed for to keep the game kind of organized. I'm honestly wanting to, I'm hoping they don't nerf the Oculus Overseer and stuff, since it is quite overpowered and will be one of the pets I'll be probably using once I take the time to go grind rivers. Um, I know a lot, it is probably quite oversatted for how easy it is to get, comparatively, but um, I'm not going to complain about that once I start using it, so I'll just hope for the meantime that they don't nerf it. Yeah, uh, actually I think they're corrupt here. Um, I used to have quite a bit of them, so I did that last stream, but I think they're corrupt not classified. But at this point, really there isn't much of a difference between a corrupt tier and a classified tier. They both basically mean the same thing, and I would consider them basically the same, except they're earned in just two slightly different ways. Um, obviously Mythical and Divine have a big distinction between them and the classified corrupts, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there are people that grind a lot more than me. There are people that do quite a bit of stuff, like grinding out thousands of anomalies and stuff like that, so. Hello, Jack. Welcome back to another stream. Um, yeah. I mean, I think the max, I got like 30 crown keys in my last stream, which is about my max. I've had in that stuff, but bow boss is really easy to grind. It takes like a three minutes or something, maybe even less, depending on how fast you are. So definitely seeing people with a lot of crown keys isn't going to be a big deal. Um, yeah, not like if you need to level up pets, definitely grinding the bow boss is a good way to do it. 
I'll probably actually end up doing that for once I get my Easter pets, is leveling up them using the bow boss. Um, but then trying for the Chroma Float. Since that is a really rare item, and would be quite awesome to unbox. Especially since every, every 200... Okay, that was a lot more than I was thinking. Every hundred times that you can open it, you get about a one in forty chance of getting it. So, how do you get boss bait? Um, it's given by several quests. Uh, there are a few like standard quests, like um, Fern gives you two, Jax probably gives you a bit. Um, you can also get it from the new loot bags, the anonymous and other stuff. There's it's in there. And also from the David quest line, although that's not suggested since that is quite long for the amount of boss bait you get. So, yeah. Alright, uh... Yeah, actually, I mean, I rarely watch movies, but watching movies is with, the, with uh, like, family is really one of my... pretty fun to do, so go have fun with the movie. I'm trying to think about what I should add to the purple thing up here instead of it. And I think I'll leave it as is. Um, but. And I forgot to do that. Yeah, gemship. Um, yeah, gemship is really hard to get. I used to have it. Um, I traded it away for some at some point, but and definitely it's cool to see the purple. The fact that it's purple. Sorry, um, uh, Discord stuff, I'm, I usually try to do that in between bosses, which probably shouldn't be doing and should be devoting a little bit more time to my stream, but Discord is definitely a very, um, addictive thing, so. Yeah. Hello, uh, yeah. The worst part about it is that it takes, like, for every boss to spawn. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, usually server hopping is pretty good for that. Now that people have to do Yoko quite a bit, it might the amount of giant ships in the game might actually increase. Um, but definitely, there's been a decrease in the amount of gem ships being unlocked since end game players don't end up doing them. Since like back when I was maxed out, um, the worlds are still the same, and so people would be able to both grind maxed area and also come back for the boss every time. So. Definitely lose a lot of gem ships from there, and but now with the rebirth and, and people having to do Yoko, it probably will increase the amount of gem ships. Uh, no, in my opinion, Yoko should remain the same. Um, it is a long quest line, but most of it is just server hopping or waiting. I, if you do have boss bait, you can use that, but since boss bait really is, isn't really dependent on any sort of game pass or 
stuff like that is just basically grindy. Um, Yoko is completely balanced for both free to play and pay to win, which is perfectly fine in my opinion for a gun like this. The biggest thing I think actually is for people that have, um, it's the backdoor grind is the biggest problem. Um, backdoor, uh, it really makes a large difference between people that are pay to win and have bought like all the game passes and double items and have gum compared to people who are just casually playing the game once they get to back door it's really difficult for them to get the items that they need to progress and vacuum pets so that's that's where the nerf should be to rebirths if there is one not to yoko since yoko is a nicely balanced for both pay to win and free to play maybe a small nerf but to the one where he requires you to defeat all of them in a cycle. Um, I could see that happening, but other than that, I think Yoko is pretty nice. Instead of doing it all in a cycle, it could be like six bosses. Or even like eight. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, hello, uh, I know a lot of people just come in and say hi, it's nice to see them say hi, and I'll definitely, definitely like, enjoy it. So, hello Megan, um, yeah, is the, the turbo charger, yeah, it's pretty good, um, I like the fact that you can get it, the only real reason you need to do Yoko though is not really for the turbo charger, it's for the Lunatus key you get on the quest before, so, yeah, um, but the pretty the boss cycle is pretty fun. Yeah, the thing about it though is people you either have to have boss bait, knowing someone with boss bait, or just be willing to either wait or server hop and have to rely on getting the correct servers. So Yeah, there are definitely other boss quests where it is similar, like even Luna has you defeat the dragon boss in the volcano, which is not too much different. The thing is no one really does Luna anymore. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, most of the targets on Blaze for the boss cycle. And pop scum. And so now we can go do anomaly, which should be in the mushroom area, which I'll use the TP for since that air is actually annoying to get to. So, like, when getting to areas with the anomaly and stuff, every time I go to the barn, um, I always went through the data stream and just did it that way with the jetpack. And then I realized once, like, when I rebirth, I was going through there to get the items there. Every time I went to go do it, I'd originally start going through the data stream, then I realized I both don't have the jetpack, don't have unlocked the data stream, and so I'd just completely go in blind and not be able to get up there as easily, and then I'd just have to either go around or go back and use the teleporter. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Having a VP server is really helpful. Yeah, uh, honestly though, a VIP server is really cheap for the amount of benefits it does give you. Um, I know it is a monthly subscription, but it is pretty nice to be able to play single player. Um, about 30 minutes I'll be posting my private link, server link in the, the chat so that people can join me for giving away some of the random gum I get from grinding. Um, not anything, no glitchy will be given away, or no glitchy loot gum, I should be say. There will be definitely glitchy given away, but like glitchy nitro, glitchy zoom, glitchy back. Um, basically anything you guys want, want other than glitchy loot, and other than like maybe, probably hold on to most of my lucky plus. But yeah, if you guys want some glitchy X, um, glitchy back if you want, or even glitchy zoom because you want to do something like zoom. Um, yeah, you can, you guys can definitely come. Oh, you can't? Uh, you're on mobile, I'm assuming, or something like that? Yeah, I know, being on mobile is kind of a pain. Um, I can add you to the server, rather than in, have you join if you want, but, yeah.
Or, or you're saying you can't buy a server. Yeah, buying a private server is... Um, it's cheap, and if you have Robux, it's definitely nice. But I know a lot of people just don't even have any Robux just because it costs money to get it, and money is money is tight for most people and so oh yeah cuz fun um if you tell if you send me your robot user's name i can add you to the server and you can just join it normally rather than having to join via link um but that isn't for another 30 minutes so we'll figure it out when that happens um has anonymous spawned yes yes it has um you need to charge first zoom Zoom. I mean, the zoom gum isn't that bad. It's like the turbo gum is the biggest, biggest weird gum. <laughs> uh, like, you can't control the glitchy hoverboard gum or turbo gum. Um, you can control the zoom pretty nicely though, so it's it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. I don't think anyone needs this, but it's it's definitely cool to use. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you tried camera toggle? Um, no, I actually haven't. I, I'm assuming you're talking about this. Um. Oh, that's, that is weird. I don't like that. I think that's for like first person shooters or something, correct? Uh, yeah, that that actually looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think we'll do go do the default back to the default. Uh, I'll I'll work on adding you to the server. Um, assuming I can get the. So yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, in about 30 minutes I'll be... Uh, yeah, your privacy settings prevent it, sorry about that. So, doesn't look like you can join. Yeah, um, changing names is something that I'm not even going to end up ever doing. Just because it's kind of expensive and really kind of pointless since people know you by the older name and they just kind of get confused. Yeah, it's kind of like shift lock. Um, I, th I feel like it's more for first person shooters so you can aim over your head and just see what's going on better. Um, but, and unlike shift lock, it doesn't lock your character position. Like if you had shift lock enabled, you would, your position would always be like in, if you're in first person, always aim that way. Whereas with this, it's always your your body doesn't move with it, it's just your camera that stays. So Yeah, I'm talking to you random, sorry about that. I can't can't do anything about it. Um why is my volume up too high? No. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, sorry I can't do much. I would gladly give you some gum in a public server though. So once I'm done with giving everyone some gum in the private server, I'll hop over onto a public server and allow you to join me. Um, the reason I don't use the public server normally is since there's way too many of you guys to fit into an actual public server. Um, since there'd only be like two slots after me and then people would be, wouldn't be able to join. So yeah, I'll definitely make, make sure to go into a public server afterwards so you can join me for that. Um, my joins are always on open, so anyone can join through there if I'm in a public server in the main hub. Um, I know right now I'm, you can't, and most of the time you can't since I'm always in a private server, but yeah, if I'm ever in a public server, you can easily just come join me. Yeah, you're definitely welcome. I know you're asking about it, and I kind of said I would, so I'll definitely try my best to make sure if I say something, like I'll give you stuff, I'll definitely make sure to figure something out. Yeah. Um, that's in like another 20 minutes or so, so. Um, we'll get to it when we get to it, but um, yeah, that should be, that should actually work out pretty nicely for 
people who are on mobile, they can just join to get my profile afterwards. Um, allow most of the people to get their items, and then... The uh, main reason I got the private servers is since my the public servers you'd end up getting into, or I'd end up getting into, would be full, and not everyone can, but... This allows mobile players to join too, so doing both would be pretty nice. Um, yeah, I know uh, a lot of people um, have their joins on open, or sometimes, and so it's kind of nice to try to go join them, and then sometimes you just, like, even with your friends, you want to go join your friend and try to join them and you get a restricted restricted server message or whatever and you, you have to realize oh they're like in a private server or something I don't have access to and so yeah I've definitely had it once or twice where I've hit a wall and I'm um, trying to join a friend or something Unfortunately, I don't think there will be any purple uh, pet out during the Easter event, um, like they have in the last two events. They, but you know, honestly, it was more than enough to see the purple pet come back for two events. I wasn't even really expecting it to come back ever, but when it came back as the purple, it was really awesome to see. And then again with the gift wrap was. Nice too. Oh, um, yeah, I've been hearing that there have been a bit of data store issues um, with gems and stuff, or, and items too, which has been kind of kind of annoying to see. So, um, probably just reverted back to an older save would be my guess. Um, when you see missing stuff like that, the best thing you can do is leave instantly um for 300,000 gems i wouldn't i mean for most people that isn't even that much like that's doing agent blaze i think even less so probably isn't worthwhile bringing up but when you notice you're missing a huge thing like that or uh, data loss issues best thing you can do is go oh ask about it and then try to figure it out um is the normal game going to come back? Uh, yeah, it's April Fools, if you haven't realized, so... It's probably going to be changed back by the end of today. Um... Yeah, it's Roblox store. the Roblox storages that they use. Um, aren't always the best and best maintained, so there's occasionally some glitches that cause some data loss in that department. So, best thing you can do is probably ask, is ask for, or report it as a bug um, in the main server, and hope it gets fixed at some point through robot or through the go similar like working on another database solution but yeah uh yeah two times items is currently the best game pass like even plus two pets plus two pets used to be pretty good but you don't really need it anymore so two times items um i know that costs 500 and then after two times items they're i mean i made a game plus tier list video for stuff it's still it's still i'd consider a pretty good tier list um, I mean, maybe more agility or double range, but definitely double items would be my first pick for game pass, and then, then double lock if you haven't that much, but two times items for sure. Yeah, the thing about plus two pet slots is all you really need is three dev heads, um, for rebirth grinding, um, and any more than that, or even like three atoms stat-wise would work perfectly fine for grinding, um, so, you don't really need that many more pet slots, unless you're really endgame and you have like cosmic swings and stuff and you need the 
additional like 40% stats that you get from that, which I mean, is pretty good if you get a 40% stat boost, but most people, most people it's probably just better to focus their time on getting gum and then maybe even trading that gum for better pets. So that's a that's a thing that's used quite a bit is trading like glitchy loot gum or glitchy boss gum for better pets. Before. Which is better, Mini Anonymous or the Divine Pet? Um, the Divine Pet is way higher stats. But the thing about... So, yeah, it's definitely worth going for if you need the stats. Um, I would suggest still going for first the Master Hunter and the Lucky Cats and the Ghostly Vision before any of that. But, you know, going for the Divine Pets if you need the stats is not a bad idea too. Yeah, um, Bobas is pretty easy to defeat. Uh, I'm not going to say anything more on that subject, since I know some people struggle with it. But because of it being a three-cycle boss, um, it goes by really quickly and is not that difficult to defeat. So, really easy to grind stats with that. Uh, my taste on Roblox? I could have sworn mine was a a just a random code code face, so um, maybe it went up for sale, but I was pretty sure it only cost it was like a code item or something, or even maybe a ten robux cheap face that a lot of people bought. So um, yeah, anything I have on robux worth a lot, I probably just end up getting before. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, my suggestion is get the first top three, then go for as many pet stats as you need, um, depending on your stats. I'd probably say three to four. Um, and then switch over to just grinding out the ty tycoons, like alternating between them and such. So, going for like three ecto bits and then a Ecto token and then a soul or something like that. Um, probably different rates, but getting then grinding out those since you really don't need vacuum stats for grinding that much. It's mostly most of what you need is conversion for cells for more gems and stuff. So um, yeah, it's yeah stuff like bosses. It's really not because it takes. It's hard to do at this point. Most people know how to do them pretty easily. It's mostly just because they are really long, especially final boss. Final boss takes 15 minutes. Um, compared to the bow boss, which takes three or less most of the time, um, it's really, really difficult. Sorry, messing with my headphones again. Um, I know it's probably coming over as random interference. So, yeah, sorry about that. But, um, yeah, even like mini bosses, aren't that much of a pain to do, especially once you get, even without the heavy armor, um, they aren't that hard to do since all you really do is walk around them and jump every once in a while, technically, but um, because of how long it takes between them, just that's kind of why they are rare and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, no one really knows when the Easter's coming out. Um, I mean, I predicted it, I predicted it last week, so... I am definitely not the person to ask for that kind of question to, but yeah, get a feeling could come out tomorrow or the day after or even later today, so. Um, personally, I am glad that the final boss is so long, it makes it kind of fun, funner than if you just kind of sat at it for 10 minutes, or 5 minutes even, um, but yeah, I understand what you mean, it just takes forever and kind of a pain. Um, apparently there was, used to be a glitch where you could use boss gum on it, which was kind of game-breaking. Oh yeah, going broke is, I mean, I'm <laughs> nowhere near broken in gems. Uh, but, yeah, it's, some people can go through their gems pretty quickly. Um, I mean, I could definitely blow through my gems pretty quickly. It's, I have like a... 100 crates worth of 
gems. Um, sorry about the size rescoring thing. I hit the bottom of my water bottle, which caused it to click the top and to completely resize everything. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Right, it doesn't look like it took him out too bad, so we'll charge. Uh, about 15 more minutes and then I'll go do the giveaway, giving away all the random gum that anyone wants. Since I have no particular use for zoom gum, nitro gum, X gum really anymore. I mean, I can use like 10 of it, but or 100 of it or whatever, but any more than that will be quite, quite excessive. Um, and maybe even some gem gum if you want. So Basically just I'll open up a VIP server for people to come in, let you guys choose what gums you want slash need, and then move over to a public server for people on mobile. Yeah, the shooting the polar per the pillars was a really good idea, I think. The the construction behind the mega boss was uh, really unique and stuff compared to the previous mega boss. Just, even though their mega boss idea in general is a really good idea, um, I mean, and really unique, especially the way that they had it with the first few bosses. Um, definitely, it has got kind of overused in, at this point, especially with the three cycle bosses where it's not really much of a problem. It's more just tedious, if anything. Xgum, yeah, I'll be giving away some Xgum since um, heard quite a bit of people can use that, and I really don't have use for it now that I got ghostly. Since I mean, I don't get enough cell stats to really make use of the additional forty-four times. I know some people on Discord, like the Max player, um, that always bring up gets really good use out of the Xgum, being able to sell after bosses for like a hundred mil or for like five million gems or whatever, and convert, but not me. How to join the server? I'll be posting a private server link in the uh, live chats that you all can join, um, and then giving away pets um, in there. Um, and then I will also then after that be hopping over into a public server, which anyone can join off my profile, but mainly for mobile users and people who can't click on the link to be able to go to my profile and join the server from there. And yes, I am glad to giving glitchy the X gum since I don't have a much of a use for it anymore. Um, after I got used like the hundred or two hundred or however much I used for the um, ghostly, uh, don't really have much of a use for it anymore. So yeah, definitely giving that away. Um, I think that's probably the most requested. I, I I've said before and I'll say again, I really don't see how anyone can need use the glitchy turbo or zoom gum. I mean, zoom gum is pretty nice to have. It's pretty slick. But w increasing your hoverboard speed, it's so uncontrollable. It just, it isn't worth it. I mean, technically speaking, it could be worth it if you're able to control it enough and figure out how to get a four, get all four biomes in that, in one, in a cycle. But to most people like me, uh, Oh, that's that's interesting to see. Uh, I didn't know that actually worked on mobile. Um, but yeah, you, you guys on mobile can actually try that on for me. Um, if it doesn't work, I will still resort to the joining a public server for y'all. But yeah, that's, thank you for showing that no work. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's. I'll note that. Um, if I remember what your username in, I'll probably just ask you in the Roblox client, and that'll be the easiest way to make sure everyone gets what they want. Compared to trying to remember and convert between your guys's um, YouTube usernames and your Roblox usernames, just ask in the Roblox.
Hmm. Yeah, whatever the case is. I'll be making sure everyone gets something that's in the stream at that point. Does gem gum work with crates? Um, if by crates you mean the chests in the bonus biome that drop gems, yes, actually. Um, it works with ghosts, loot bags, chests, and also the crates, so yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, I don't think there's any, the only thing it doesn't work with is conversion, in terms of what gum, gem gun does work on. Yeah, running down boss gum happens quite frequently, it's kind of hard to get, so. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to have any more than like 25 for the Easter event, in terms of glitchy, and I mean, I know there's people that have like 200-ish for save up, and probably plan on trading it for get some good stuff during the event. Honestly, I should probably trade it for actually getting some rare items, but um, I think it would make more better YouTube content to use it myself, so, yeah. Um, yeah. So, probably will be like 10 glitchy gem gum, um, 20 or so glitchy X, um, like, 50 glitchy nitro, I don't need it at all, uh, for anyone that wants it, and based on which ones you need, um, so, yeah. Uh, the, the dummy crate stuff, um, that actually, you, since you don't even get the item, you don't get the, the board at all, um, you can't get a classified on it, you can land on a classified, but you wouldn't actually get it. Same thing for all the items, so. Yeah, it. I, I've been hearing that it glitches quite a bit. Um, it might just be me doing something weird with my headphones, like tapping it or something, or some just random Bluetooth interference from something else in my household. So, yeah. I've been hearing that it just goes away after a little bit, and it comes up randomly, so. Uh, don't worry when it happens. I mean, it is nice to know that it still is happening and not just one-time occurrences of me deciding to be a, um, do something weird and mess up it up, but it's rather just kind of random and based on outside circumstances that I can't control. Um, but yeah. About six more minutes, so probably do the, this, use two boss gum or two glitchy loot gum. For actually one glitchy loot gum, I guess would be fine. Then do the boss, and then go convert. So I'll go do that, and then I'll go into my private server, and give away gum to everyone that needs. Also, if anyone wants the legendary from the void crate, the throwing knife thing, uh, feel free to ask for that. Um, you can have like five. You hate summer. Um, personally, I love summer since I get a lot of free time. Uh, basically do whatever I want. So, I mean, not, I don't get the whole time free. There's usually a lot of family stuff we end up doing, like, going on vacation and stuff, which is pretty nice. Oh, Bing broke. Um. So, yeah, overall, I really do like summer. Um, especially not having school. I mean, maybe once I get a job, it'll change on whether or not I like summer. But for the time being, I'm definitely a fan of having summer vacation. Yeah, if you want that, you can have it. Um, I probably just after the 
after I'm done, we'll probably end up just going through and mass trashing everything in my inventory. Also, if you want a Sammy, actually you can have an ice cream Sammy, but I don't think anyone wants, really cares about an ice cream Sammy too much. So. Uh, yeah, I know the temperature is hot in some places. I'm, I'm in a place where it doesn't really get that hot, and um, I live in Washington, and so half the time it's raining during the summer. Not literally, it's actually been pretty well for as long as I've been alive, at least, but, yeah. Yeah, it definitely really depends on where you live, on how the climate is and stuff like that, so. Um, I definitely am fortunate to live in a nice temperate climate where it doesn't get really hot in the summer. Although our winters are quite cold and usually have a bit of snow, but we can, the state has learned how to deal with that, so it's been nice. Uh, bees, 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 oh. I've been stung quite a bit in terms of bees. Uh, yeah, I have some blinds for my rooms that I can close, which are really nice. Um, for being able to sleep in. Um, usually. I mean, recently I haven't been able to sleep in for whatever reason. I think it's just it's probably something to do with me losing the hour and then my schedule is getting ruined and then me never re rescheduling to make sure I got to sleep at a decent time and wake up late, but Yeah. I know what you mean about temperature. Having it too hot is always a pain, especially if you don't have air conditioning. But yeah. Ah. Uh, I've I've got stung a lot. Uh, first time was way young, probably like eight or whatever. Um, I've done stupid things, um, like trying to capture bees, but inside flowers. Yeah, that's a smart idea as a child to do. Um, definitely got stung a few times there. Uh, I also decided to climb a tree where bees were. That was. Not, uh, not on purpose, the bees came, I realized there was bees later once I was already up the tree. That was not fun getting out of. Um, got like stung three, three to four times there. Um, haven't really got stung any time recently that I can think of. So, so. Probably because I stay inside. Do I play Ghost of every day? Um, I've been trying to since, uh, I've been focusing uh, quite a bit on YouTube during my spring break and the rebirth update. Um, recently, but no, definitely not every day, um, it's more just been recently. I've tried to play every update though, so I'm pretty good on that, but yeah, I mean, all-time ectoplasm is mostly just from the last shows that I haven't really played every day. Um, yeah, and I think now we'll, I'll go over and do the VIP stuff. Um, so, go... Configure that. Um, yeah. And I'll copy that. So, for. There's the link. So, everyone on computer, or apparently even on if you're on mobile, if you copy it and paste it into like Google or something, you can. Um, but I will be. Afterwards, switching over to a public server where you can join off of my profile to give away some gum to those on mobile that can't. So, yeah, please just hang it out if you're on mobile. Sorry, random name, you're going to be a little bit late to the party. Um, I know you've been really wanting some gum, so just tell me in the Roblox chat, just send me a trade, tell me what you kind of want from the gum, and if you want a legendary from the Blood Grift. Boot Spy? I saw you- Boot Spy, I saw you on Discord, I think. So, um, yeah, it's interesting to see more people on Discord noticing that I'm starting to stream, which is definitely weird to see. I'm, I'm not advertising myself on purpose, so. Uh, yeah, it's definitely nice to see people come out. Um, I'm assuming my trades are just weird right now, but... Yeah, I, I can't... So whichever, whatever gum you guys need, um, just send a trade. Uh, 
and ask for what gem you need. I hope my trades aren't just being broken, but yeah, I, I've kind of hidden other people's pets. I'm assuming you have oofs equipped, would be my guess. Um, maybe not. Maybe chunks. Yeah, noob pet. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, is anyone else's trades broken? Because mine just seem to be broken. There are so many people in this server. Uh, I'll be joining over into the A for mobile people later. Oh, finally, someone traded me. It's trades fix. Um, so what gum do you need? Um, got any gem gum? Yeah, I can definitely afford a few gem gums for you. There you go. Um, could you have a tato? Um, mostly just giving away gum right now. Um, I know I should probably be responding in Roblox chats, so that was Loot Spy is done. Um, who wants, ever wants to come next, just some of the trade requests I've said. Otherwise, I'll just start going down the list. Um, a lot of people are out. Um, no Eric, what do you want? Um, which comes... Someone used a boss bait, it looks like, or maybe we've just already been in for 10 minutes. Um, no work. I don't remember what you wanted in terms of gum. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it looks like you don't know either. Um, I'm going to assume that you wanted some X gum, since I saw a lot of people asking for that. I might be completely wrong with that. Um, yeah, okay, it looks like you're fine with that. Uh, yeah, please tell me what gums you want, uh, so I'm not just randomly guessing, uh, as to what to give you. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm literally trading everyone. Uh, boss gum, I'm not giving away boss gum. Uh, I said that earlier, uh, you can have, like, some of this, and also some of this, but that's probably the best gum you're getting. Um... And I'll throw in some of this, because why not? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll call that good. Um, yeah, I'm not giving away boss gum. I need that for the event. Um, that's one, two, three. Let's do Sid next. <laughs> um, I don't know what you want exactly. I'm going to assume everyone gets some Exum. And, okay, gem gum. We'll go give them 10 gem gum. Uh, I want zoom, nitro, and X. Okay, I can definitely do that. Uh, yeah, I know everyone's running my server. It's quite, quite full, actually. I was not expecting it this many people. Um, uh, let's do puppy dog next. Um, just since no one else really is open to trades. Um, everyone seems to be wanting X gum, so I'll do 10 of that. See what else they want. Um, any gum, don't mind. Nitro Zoom X. You also want some bunny. Okay, I can give you some bunny. I'm, I'm, I'm giving away free gum, guys. Not, not, not looking to trade. So I'm assuming you wanted glitchy bunny gum. Is why you put it. Ghostly loot guns. Actually, yes, I can definitely do that. Um, sloth. Let's do you next, since or maybe not sloth, since you seem to be not having trades open. No one has trades. Let's do. Yep. Okay. Sloth has his trades open. There we go. Let's go do sloth. Um, you wanted X. Um, zoom in nitro, and then scruffs just doesn't really care, so we'll go do them next. Hopefully, um, a lot of people coming out. Um, random. Oh, almost, almost twenty-one people. Yeah, this is the most people I've ever seen in a stream. Um, there's a link up if you want to join the server. I'm giving away some gum. Um, you want some any of stuff, so I'll give you some better stuff. Um, and because who doesn't want some zoom gum? Um, I don't want some zoom gum. That's who. 
Good job for everyone who guessed that correctly. How to join? There's a server up. Um, I sent a server link up quite a bit long way in chat. Um, probably should put that also. Um, yeah. Um, thank you everyone for whoever's people who remember to say what gum they want. Please glitchy X gum. Okay, I can definitely do that. Um, this is a lot. How to join? Already answered that one. Um, try and keep an eye on chat, and I'm rereading the same much as run over. Um, Egbert. I think Egbert. I think only Egbert. And then I need to go over into a public space. I know. Sorry, random. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm going. Someone asked. Where's the link? Up in chat a little bit. It might have been before you joined. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it might not be the best. Am I the only one with third rebirth? You might be. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to assume some glitchy XCOM. And... Uh, let's go for some of this. And because I don't need this, they can have some of this. You can have some gum like that. Um, I, I've been trying to be pretty fair amount of people, stuff I gave. Um, looks like there's now a few more people. Did I already do J Mark? I feel like I already did J Mark. Okay, maybe I did do J Mark. Yeah, okay, I didn't. Um, sorry, just, just trying to make sure I don't accidentally. Yeah, you're definitely welcome for coming. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying not to give away too much glitchy loot gum, but, um, you want some loot gum? Uh, I can give away some, definitely some ghostly stuff. Since I won't be using that and some of this to fill in. Just because. Um, how to come I want, there's a link higher up in the chat. Um, how is everyone so okay? Um, everyone just plays a little bit. Uh, I think there's still someone I was missing, Ice Math. I haven't traded you. Um, same with Kaysen. Um, items. I'm. I'm probably haven't said any, put pets on. Um, uh, yeah. Um, that require me to go into settings, and currently I'm working on trades. Please loot gum. So we'll go do a bit of loot gum. Um, it is just ghostly, which is quite easy to get compared to glitchy. So it's not the best, but. I can definitely case in. Um, I, from what I'm hearing, I probably don't want to put my pets on since I'd end up glitching. Um, I'm assuming there's people at this point that aren't able to get into the server. Wait, you, just based off how full it is. So, yeah, you're only getting ghostly. I'm saving my glitchy for events and grinding myself. So, and probably will end up trying some of it too. Um, but it'll definitely be nice to have. Um, I think that's everyone in this server. I'll hang out about another minute or so, just to see if anyone else comes around. Um, end up going probably, but oh, Roblox, you got in? Okay, never mind. It looks like Roblox is managed to get in. You have like 200 plus ghostly loot gum. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, it's not the best gl gl um, ghostly. So I think you got in random, I, if according to yourself. Um, which is pretty good. Um, looks like we got another person joining it, so I don't know if I need to go into, uh, for mobile servers, but I think I will anyways once I'm done with everyone here, so. Um, yeah, everyone's definitely very welcome. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, you can come. I'll go back and give you some, too. Um, I don't... Yeah, as it... Thank you, thank you to everyone who did say some the gum they won pretty quickly. Um, otherwise, I'm just kind of going through it as fast as I can, giving stuff that I think is going to be somewhat good. In the, and hoping that, that you guys are fine with it. Um, and it's what you guys want. Um, so, I heard randomly you wanted some... <laughs> Well, you got a Xenon at least, before you got broke, so, yeah. Um, 
yeah, I think though once I'm done with this, um, and then I'll hop over to a public server for anyone on mobile. Um, I don't know how many people will be able to join me if everyone joins in, so please only if you're on mobile and haven't received items for haven't received gum yet. Please join me, otherwise uh, be respectful of the other people and, and let them join. Um, but just basically if you get in. Um, I've been trying to send you some trade requests for blocks. Um, you haven't accepted yet, so I'll send you one more. Um, apparently if I turn on my pets, I'll get quite a bit of... Not that bad yet, but... Yeah, with that many people. Yeah! That's the same thing about the late spy, only really glad to classify for the badge. That's a lot of creepy cats. Uh, let me know when you're joining public. Alright, I will definitely do that. Um, now, could I get a Tato? Oh my goodness, there's so many random people. I'm starting to lose track of who's so. who. Uh, Roblox Legend and random name. I'm getting you too confused, I'm sorry about that. Um, could I get a Tato? Uh, no, sorry, not giving away that right now. Otherwise, I'd have to give away everyone a mythical pet. And at this point, um, I don't have enough mythical pets to go around. Sorry. Yeah, we'll defeat this boss and then I'll come over. Sorry, Roblox Legend, for taking so long. Um, right. And we'll wait for the cell, wait for the loot bags, and then hop over into a public server. Um, assuming we haven't already got the loot bags, but assuming we already got them. So, and that'll be it for that game. Um, and yeah, I'm going to head over to. Yay! My Mac bugged again! Um, yeah. I'm in a, in a public server now, if you want to join me, Roblox Legend, um, that'd be very much appreciated. Um, I'm sorry for getting you confused and thought I already touched up, so everyone on mobile, if you're waiting, you can come join me. Um, if you're not on mobile, I would be very much appreciated, it'd be very much appreciated if you didn't come and join, since there's only going to be like a few slots in here for people, and if those fill up with everyone quickly. Um, it's going to be kind of a pain. Um, so, um, do 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 do. One two three. One two three. One two. So it looks like there's eight people in, nine with me. So three slots. Um, username is highest. Um, uh, uh, spirit is similar to a ghost, and simulate is simulator. So they didn't change the name that much. How do you get hammers? Um, someone asked about that. Well, wow. um, yeah, that's kind of why they picked the simulate spirit. If it's just because it's the same as their regular name, so um, yeah, I always call the construction site the correction yard. Um, too. So, um, I'm assuming you're able to join me, Roblox Legend. Um, I'm assuming you probably had to close down YouTube to go over and your Roblox app to find highest and join it. Uh, uh your, it might be your privacy settings if not allowing you to do stuff. I'm sorry if that's the case. I was trying to keep... What should I get as third group birth perk? I already got Ghostly Eyes and Ma Monster Hunter. I would personally go for the Lucky Eyes and be able to get the... H I G H E I S T. So spelled the name as the same as my um, YouTube username. You might be spelling it wrong. Um, so you can just copy that and paste it in. Um, Lucky Eyes is definitely would be the one I'd go for, just because of all the new content and allows you'd get. Hello, welcome back, Jack. Uh, you probably, um, yeah, I'm working on giving. Uh, I was giving away items to people in my private server, and then I switched over so that people on mobile, like Roblox Legend, can come in and join. Um, we're, we're basically waiting for a few people on mobile to come trade me if they want for some random glitchy gum stuff. So. Yeah. That's kind of what's going on. Uh...
Um, I'm not really... I know I've said in the past that Pet Evolution is a really good one since it allows it easily upgrades, but it's probably best to actually go for a mix of the selling tycoons. Ah, hello, random. Glad to see you come in. Um, nice to see someone. There he is. So send me a trend, front trade request really quick, and I will accept that. So I'll be probably going for a mix of the tycoons. Um, you asked for some ghostly loot, some X, um, probably some gum, jam gum, and some zoom. I think I don't know exactly, but pretty sure that about right. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, that should be the person on mobile. Um, how do I spell your Roblox user again? H I G H E I S T. Uh, the the heavy armor perk from Leo. Um, really, it gives you a it it allows you to not be met, not be affected by the mini bosses and normal bosses attacks. So, and can you join? Um, if you go look onto my profile under Roblox H I G H E I S T, same as my YouTube. Um, without the gaming, of course, you can come join my on a public server, and I'll give you some gum. That's basically the only reason. Um, sorry, you can't join. Uh, okay, Roblox. Yeah, you're so welcome, random. I think I already gave you some stuff, Roblox. I'm getting so confused between you two at this point. Roblox, uh, legend, and random name. Um, that... Alright, yeah, thank you about the inventory, um, and it's, um, it's definitely... The... Giving away the gum is definitely nice. Um... Yeah, you can definitely get some loot gum. It's only ghostly. I'm saving my glitchy for other stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, yes, it. There's a set pattern between Ghost World Backdoor and um, the main hub, so you can go look that up on the wiki or maybe in a video tutorial on it, that stuff. But yeah, there's a set uh, spawn thing for all this. So. I think with that, I will go take a break to go, um, assuming no one joins before I finish this boss and ask me for some gum. Uh, yes, I'm going to definitely be streaming some of the Easter event, probably having a few videos for that stuff, um, when it drops, so, yeah, definitely going to have that, um, but, yeah, once I'm, actually, I'll probably, probably just leave now, um, turn off the mic, um, so, yeah. Finish off this boss, and I will be taking a small break, so feel free to go leave. I'll be probably back in the next 20 minutes and start working on grinding out some final boss for those blocks by keys. So, yeah. Feel free to hang around if you want, but I'll be not doing anything for the next 20-ish minutes. So, goodbye everyone. Um, for now, I will be back. And yeah.
All right, done eating. I've been back for a while, but I was finishing off um, eating a cookie, actually. Chocolate chips are the best. But yeah. Um, we'll get back to grinding the final boss. Probably do that for like two hours. Maybe slightly less, maybe only like an hour. Um, but yeah, get a few block fight keys and then just kind of save up for un unboxing at some point. Probably save up to get like 100 or maybe 150 or something. Um, yeah, I was muted for a little bit. I was eating a cookie. I uh, didn't want Munchy Munchy to be all over, all you guys heard in the sounds. So stayed muted, just finished up a few things. Um, but yeah, we're going to go do final boss stuff. Probably going to do this for two hours-ish. Um, which is eight times through, gives me 16 box bite keys, and just save them. But yeah, I'm back. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm... I know taking breaks during a stream isn't ideal, since it kind of is boring for all you guys, and so... It is kind of what I, kind of, it allows me to grab a little bit and um, break up the uh, giant grind if I'm doing it, so. We'll continue, I'll continue to do this until I figure out a better schedule. But, yeah. Um... If so, this is about a 15 minute fight. Where in the world did the final boss head off to? Okay, so now we just have the final boss just chilling over there. Um, I don't even understand sometimes what the final boss is up to. Uh, yeah, in the recent times, um, since they've been a three cycle boss recently. The bow boss is actually about the same difficulty as anything, any of the other event bosses. Um, yeah, it looks like the final boss is just going to be broken for a little bit. Um, he, he's flying. And still flying. Um, yeah, this is a weird glitch. I've never seen this before. Um, it might only be visual, I guess, but it's still weird nonetheless. But yeah, we have a flying mini final boss. Let me go fly up to him. Yeah, we're just kind of chilling over here. Uh, this is definitely the weirdest thing I've ever seen in it as a glitch. Um, I've seen it where he has decided to just teleport out forever. Um, never seen this though before. Um, definitely one of the strangest things I've seen Gus and Lay do. Hopefully it fixes once it's defeated. Or maybe not. Um, maybe we'll just go through all the phases like this. Alright, go, go. Have a good night's sleep. Um, stay safe. No work. It's been nice seeing you on the stream. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's probably just better not to question it in anything. Um, it's like they like summoning, which I'm fine with them summoning ghosts, and ghosts don't do anything really to me. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this for, um, just another two hours. Hopefully all the bosses, all the bosses don't end up glitching like this, dude. So. I don't even know what attack he did first. I think he did the swipe attack and for whatever reason it decided to aim up instead. And so now he's just kind of chipping up there. 
It might be that they actually moved like the boss room or something in here, and so they just m messed up the heights in like an update or something, which I could totally see happening. Um, um, yeah, looks like that you'd think at that point a few more things would be a bit broken. Looks like it's too high for us to reach with the overcharge, so we we'll just kind of have to shoot. Do you want to buy? Yeah, um, sometimes, I mean, most people just end up trying to save their Robux and stuff, I know I used to. Um, so yeah, I definitely understand not behind game houses, so. I wouldn't encourage you to spend it on Ghost Simulator myself. Unless you, like, play it a lot and you're playing on grinding for, uh, like, 10 hours for bosses, like I have done. Um, I don't recommend. I'd say just continue to save, personally. Especially if you already have a few other game passes, um, definitely isn't worth the double boss drops. It's definitely not the most worthwhile game pass to go buy. Yeah, it looks like the boss is just trying to chill up there. Uh, might actually do this all the fights, depending on if it's a broken, like, just completely broken, or if it just um, might be a small glitch. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the fact that it's small glitch and give them a benefit of doubt on the fact that they didn't break something. But if they did break something, I mean, it's on this scale of the game, it's kind of hard to not break stuff occasionally. Welcome back, Slaw. Um, we're grinding at the final boss. Hopefully, more efficiently than this run, since I'm kind of thrown off by the fact that there's a final boss just chilling in the air. Um, not that it hurts to have the, many, the final boss chilling in the air since he really doesn't do... You don't need a vacuum in like all the other bosses, so it doesn't not really matter as much. Okay, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people joined over and joined for the giveaway stuff. It was it's nice to see a lot of people come at that. So, are, are are we? No, no. He's just going to chill up there, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I'm assuming they just changed the height and forgot to change the uh, the height of the codes. So, the Y height of the boss attacks and position always just ends up staying up there. Would be my guess, um, based on everything. So, not that it really matters that he's flying the whole time, since it is only a shooting boss compared to the normal make boss, which you have to vacuum. Which would be really annoying to see broken like this, since you could never vacuum and you just have to photon blast them. Yeah, no, I'm fine with people in the comfort giveaways, at least they can. I mean, I, I do much appreciate the people that do stay for, um, don't come just for the giveaways and stay for the actual content. That is pretty nice. It's really nice to see, but, um, kind of the reason I do the giveaways is for a little bit more attention. Yeah, I also know that since I went, um, when good something real quick, um, I burned my mouth a minute, so, it's a little bit. Right now. Um, it, people also left due to that, since I didn't do anything for like 20 minutes or something. So, I have 10 minutes of inactivity on a stream. Not much compared to the whole stream, but it definitely does do a little bit to kill the um, vibe. Yeah, I, I noticed someone was doing some boss baiting. 
um, really quickly on that server, so that was pretty nice for everyone who came and joined in. Um, just like three or four bosses, I think, and then... Yeah, and just three bosses. Oh, um, yeah, Shelly takes forever to do. It's definitely once you get done with Shelly, it's really pretty awesome. It's a 33 long quest line with a lot of quests that require you to go to beat rare bows, which are the hardest quests personally in the game. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, really when you're running out rebirth, you shouldn't be working on Shelly since it doesn't. It's too long and really doesn't give you much work on a bit. Uh, only reason I'd say to do Shelly. Uh, if you plan on rebirthing, is if you're doing something like me where you're grinding quite a bit instead. Why is final- wait, why is final boss up? I have no idea, I'm assuming it's just some weird bug that they have where it's just kind of broken. Um, wow, so you're working on quite a bit of things and just like 100 for ascending. Yeah, I can get behind getting the 100 percent of stuff. Um, right. Honestly, this is more of just getting weird at this point rather than annoying. Like, this is just comical unless. I wonder if he'll actually come down to my hat for this one. No. He won't even hit me. That is certainly an interesting thing to see. Definitely something got broken in the code. Ooh, to God's this. Yeah, you're definitely right. It does make it a little bit easier. Um, especially since the freeze attack doesn't really apply. I mean, that's about the only attack that I think can still hit you. It's not, not even that one can. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a little weird. They probably were like borrowing models or code from this boss or something. Um, and ended up tweaking something a little bit, potentially, would be my guess, personally. Yeah, and they don't even do the laser on these last two phases. Yeah, they're, they're floating all right. Um. I don't, I think that freeze time might actually make the whole thing quicker. It's just so weird to see. Ah, okay. So there's just a small glitch that they accidentally caused. Um, yeah, it's really hard to uh, it's it's really hard to make sure your game is bug free like that before releasing small stuff like that. So it's definitely understandable. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain too much. It did make that last area a little bit quicker since I didn't have to worry about the freeze attack as much. But yeah. It's not that bad.
Hello, Xavier. I haven't seen you on any of my streams recently, so it's nice to see new faces always. Um, yeah, we're doing a probably a two-hour stream. We're about 15 minutes in now um, of the final boss just to get some box white keys. Plan on saving up for stuff like the fin final boss, mini final boss and stuff just to fill out my journal a little bit. Um, yeah. I wonder how our pet levels are doing. Um, I know I've been playing quite a bit in Grind a bit. Yeah, it looks like I finally max out my mini Dutchman. Um, and these are getting closer to level 10. Um, all these are still their same levels since you don't level up cosmetic pets like that. I know, I, I've, I've, um, yeah, it's, it's been a longer stream than, it's probably going to be about my average stream length of about five hours, um, so, it's going to be a little bit longer than the five hour that I started out to make because of me eating, giveaway stuff, and all that stuff, so. How is that snowflake level zero? Very good question. It is a very special snowflake. That I'm going to tell you right off the bat. It is, um, but basically, um, developers, uh, during a giveaway that they were, when, when a dev gets, adds a pet to your inventory, um, they can specify a level, and if they, and it used to be that if they didn't specify a level, it auto defaulted to level zero. Um, so, um, or something like that. And so when they gave away pets for a giveaway or something that they were doing on the making Discord channel, the all the pets that they gave away ended up being level zero, causing um, a few level zero pets to be in the game. Yeah. Currently, the only known ones are, um, there's one Snowflake, one Ginger, or no, one Scrooge, no one named Scrooge, um, and then, like, seven or so Ringers, or five Ringers, I think was someone's last count. Um, there used to be a one Holly, but someone deleted that, and also... There's been a Coven K head that was level zero. I don't know if that ever got fixed. It might still be out there. Um, uh, actually, I traded for it. Uh, one of my good friends just traded for it to me for a snowflake. Uh, I gave them a normal snowflake. They gave me a level zero arm. They gave me kind of stats or something. But I mean, it's not really worth that much, honestly. It's worth. It's rarer than it is worth as much. So. Um, there might also be a level 0 alpha in the game, although the the person with it really hasn't played in forever, so it's kind of unknown at this point. Yeah. There's a few things like that. Um, for instance, there's a few things like that that are just like accidental things in the game. For instance, um, one of the shot pets that they released at one point um, came out with, or reverse stats, uh, so that the simple stats they had was actually their, um, would have, should have been their, uh, vacuum stats, so, um, they had to really sell for quite a bit, like, classified level, but not be able to do much in terms of get, getting ghosts stacked up, um, so, yeah. How many bosses are you doing? Uh, Six more after this one's done, so two hours worth. Um, uh, yeah, I understand using the slash for YouTube or for Roblox typing. I accidentally do that on Discord a few times, so. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. We'll do that. Um. Yeah, this is grinding. How many blast bite keys am I at? I'm at a solid two. Um, I spent all of the ones that I got from my last grind session. Um, I'm planning on saving these ones for a mass unboxing later. Uh, especially like for the mini final and stuff, for my journal and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, please don't advertise yourself on my channel. Um, I'll just... Yeah, I I'm glad that a lot of people tell me that they end up doing their own Ghost Simulator grinding while watching my streams. That is definitely encouraged, since uh, I would hate for people to be unproductive on my behalf uh, instead of watching my stream, uh, or like, instead of doing important stuff like watching or doing their own stuff or working on homework or stuff and to be watching my stream so uh yes i do have the two times uh drops game pass i've i bought a lot of the game passes recently just just for grinding and stuff it's gonna really help for um, videos and stuff, I'm just grinding myself. No, I don't want you to advertise your stream on my channel. Thank you very much. Um, It's really nice having the two times boss drops. Apparently, it used to be it used to be able to use um, boss gum and such on this. Uh, they patched that on apparently, uh, but that kind of was kind of the reason why the developer crates have been kind of broken in value and stuff, since a lot of people were able to just get eight at a time or something ridiculous. Which um, yeah, same reason I don't advertise myself on Discord. It is the same reason I expect you guys to not do it here. Um, anyways, um, yeah, if we don't get infinite stun by getting the drop done by the boss, we should be able to make good time on this boss. Um, it is nice that this dude isn't designed to do weird stuff like glitch up into this ceiling. Um, like the last one was. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining about the last one that did a lot of idiot. Quite a bit of avoid the freeze attacks and stuff, so. But, at the same time, it was definitely weird. Um, eh, all the platforms are too far away. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, honestly, I wish in my 250 loot bags that I opened from the Ghostly Vision that I got something other than legendaries, but that didn't happen either, so you can't really complain too much. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that would be willing to do some form of trade, maybe, but... Uh, no, currently I'm not really looking for DFXs and stuff like that. I'll... I'll live with my own artwork on my channel, which is, consists of MS Paint and random lines. So. Yeah, I know what you mean about battery died. Um, I probably won't go back to main hub, I'll probably just leave once the stream is over. Um, sorry if anyone was playing on I mean, me after it, but... Um, for the next phase. 
this phase we lose the interface and we just need to shoot. Uh, yeah, I actually am at some point, not during this stream, uh, probably will be a combination of like three or four streams just since it takes like close to, um, I don't know how long to get it, it takes a while to get it, but I'll, do you have your own gaming setup? Um, let me describe this to you. So I have a laptop, um, plugged into the laptop is a pair of headphones, or earphones I guess, and then Bluetooth connected to that is my head. Bluetooth headphones with a mic. And then over to the side I have, for the live chat, I have my phone sitting out with the string open and watching the... Um, yeah, going to the mini finals is a pretty good um, goal or in like filling out the journal is also a pretty nice one so um that's definitely one of my long-term goals i know that takes forever since you need probably close to 150 keys or probably like um at least 25 keys per chest to have a decent chance at getting the crafted um and then comparatively you probably also need close to You need 50 for the mini final and then probably 25 for each, which stacks up to quite a few keys that you need. Um, yeah, I, I, I know sometimes, but even like mentioning it sometimes not enough to be considered an advertisement, so please just. Um, I mean, I know some, you might be in the game, but I don't want people just to come in here just to advertise their own stuff just because I'm more popular than so I don't know how many people are less popular than me in their screen game. It's about three popular as the game. Um, how are you seeing chat while I'm playing? I already answered that with my setup, so if you weren't listening to that and working more on typing out um, the fact that you were doing other stuff, but, um, yeah, I have, yeah. um, I think this is still the second one, I'm, I've kind of lost count at this point, um, even though it's probably only been two or three final bosses, uh, I've already kind of lost count of which one I'm on, I think this is the second one, plan on getting eight keys today, and then, another because or no 16 keys um you get about eight keys an hour with two times boss drops four if you don't since it takes just roughly around 15 minutes to get a box um which means it takes roughly eight uh six hours to get a uh mini final a little bit longer just, just over six hours to get a mini final um so i'll definitely be breaking that up into a few streams um, probably save up for a hundred or something, and then open the mini final, and then go to quite a bit of boss dev crates in a stream or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, the fact that they keep with 50s and 250s kind of makes sense. I mean, especially since it's final so much longer than any other any boss, it kind of makes sense. Um, yeah. Um, Ghost Simulator is pretty awesome. Um, honestly, at this point, I'm probably considered addicted to it. Uh, you probably could. S we'll see if it works. Um, someone said that's how you can get double boss drops, right? So we'll see if that works. Um, 
If not, we're down a single base of gum, which is perfectly fine with me. Okay, it looks like it isn't patched. Um, we might end up blowing through a bit of our glitchy boss gum on this. So I think we'll be going through a bit of our glitchy boss gum in, um, to hopefully get some block spec keys a little bit quicker before they actually patch that out since they said they did that recently but I just kind of proved that they didn't um yeah so hopefully we'll I'll use like five or, or yeah I have five more left or no six more bosses left so I'll use all uh, gum on each of them um and then that will give me eight from each, so that's six bosses, 48. Um, 48 of block spike keys more, which is going to be a bit ridiculous. They say they patch it, but I'm going to abuse it while I can. Um, yeah, they decided to pull an April Fool's prank and change the name. Yeah, I know. I um, I know I re don't have correct the correct name, but I don't really care about that. Um, yeah, the crown equipment that you get from the void is pretty good for grinding. It's. Yeah, April Fool's stuff. Um, I know a lot of people have have looked at it and then realized what day it is. Um, everyone, most of the people in the Discord kind of planned for it and stuff, and knew it was coming up, so it wasn't a big surprise there, but a lot of people have met. They've been like, wait, what did they do to Ghost Simulator? And then they realized that, yeah, it was April Fool's. Um... Yeah, that's, I wouldn't mind hearing your guys' April Fool's stories. I don't have any, really, but, um, yeah, I know some people do some cool stuff with that. I know, um, during one of my years at college, or, or college, high school, um, like, the, the seniors at the time, or maybe that was for, like, senior pranks or whatever, um, it was for something. They got, like, a horse onto the roof of the school, or whatever, or something like that. It's kind of... Yeah, you're definitely welcome for the gum. Um, I I definitely am not going to be using that as much. Yeah, so they did... Yep, they definitely did not. So I'll be abusing that one. Um, rest, rest in peace, my gum that I was saving for the event. But I think this will definitely be worthwhile. More worthwhile than that, since... Um, this is... Maybe this is a, definitely a longer boss fight, and so using the gum on it is definitely a lot more worthwhile. You asked Gold Diddy? Um, me? No. Um, I'm assuming you're talking to the person who tried the April Fool's prank. It's probably a bit childish, honestly. But, no offense, but, um, most, most pranks that don't work, it's usually just because they're either basic or just really dumb. Yeah, I mean, defacing school property like that, uh, I would not encourage that. Even if it's just a prank, I mean, that's, you're actually doing some monetary harm to schools and stuff. Um, the, the thing about April Fools is you have to keep it, you have to keep it to a point where it's not hurting anyone, and still kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I could do a video. Um, the problem is I'd have to be in a public server. And just getting that many people up into the void at this point, and friends with me so that they can join and all that stuff, it's just a pain to do with Ghost Simulator multiple worlds, getting people into the same world other than like main hub. So, I mean that is a good video idea, but at this point in time it's not really a big one. So. 
Yeah, that... Yeah, just... It's still the phase thing, and it's kind of annoying to get those, especially since they usually buy them in bulk. So... Yeah. Yeah, it is actually harder to fight final with more people because they usually don't know what, exactly what's going on. It does help with the like the laser attack and the freeze one to not get as hurt as much, but um, uh, basic and ghostly. Uh, basic actually only multiplies your luck by 1.5 times, um, whereas so it adds 50% to your luck, whereas ghostly adds 100%, so it doubles your luck, and then glitchy multiplies it by 2.5, which adds 150% to your luck. Yeah, that's the difference between them. Quite a big difference. Or, I mean, a decent, decent difference. Uh, but yeah, the more of the thing is not just because it's harder, it just, it'd be a decent, decent video and stream just to have all that, the community interaction. Um, and I, I, I'm getting to that point where having community interactions like that is actually going to be sort of main stream and stuff, so. It's definitely having video ideas, suggestions like that is definitely, definitely, definitely nice. Oh, that's a nice to hear. Yeah, it's, um, I don't have content, very easy to understand guides for any of the bosses. Um, I have been thinking about doing it. Um, they do take a while to do, so they might be some side thing once I'm done with, like, Easter and all that in my streams and stuff, and you just have to do stuff. For, like YouTube and stuff, so but, yeah, doing a guide for that would, is definitely one of my goals. Goal videos. So. Yeah, watching other people do it, even if they aren't gunning you through, though, can be a really good way to learn how to do stuff. Um, that should be the final boss, though. Um, and then about a few more phases. Not exactly how many more. Um, after this, I'm done with this. I will definitely go and report the glitch with the gum still working. I have no idea what just happened. But that was crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once I'm done with this, I'll definitely report the fact that the gun still works in the final boss. Uh, yeah, I'm not really much of a fan of Booga Booga. Um, I know one of the people I do, um, one of my actually closer friends on YouTube and stuff, um, he does the channel, uh, did quite a bit of Booga Booga content, but I never really got into it, and I know not, it's not really that fun. It's, like, survival stuff. I don't really like it as much. Um, especially with PvP, I'm terrible at PvP, and I just find it with, like, that sort of PvP where it's all about equipment that you have. It's kind of unfair, so... Probably won't do any content of that. How much does the mini final cost? 50 keys. What kind of laptop do I have? If I know. Um, it's a Lenovo. That's about all I can tell you about it. Um, I, it has, it's decent. It has like an integrated graphics card or something like that, I think. I'm not sure of the exact details. Uh, my brother picked it out for me since he knows more about computers than I do. Yeah, it serves me really well though for coding and all the stuff I need to do. It was probably around six hundred, eight hundred dollars that range, so um, maybe a little bit more. But paid half of it. My parents paid the other half, and I got it as like a half birthday present, or it was basically my only birthday present that year. Then paying half to get a computer. So. Yeah. I'm really more into, like, grindy stuff where it isn't completely based on knowing maps and all that fun stuff. Um, so, maybe do- may, might do other simulators at some point. For now, it's mostly just go simulators since that is personally my favorite right now. And I'd rather cover with something that I want like than anything that I'll get clicks. Um, final phase, and then I was a screen, and then during 
there's no way I'm avoiding this sword. There is, yeah, it's that sword is just not not fun if you're close to it. And my mouth is still burnt from when I ate lunch, so that's not fun either. I'm not the best at. Uh, how long ago did you start Go Simulate? Uh, about a year and a half, actually. Um, I joined it about the update that the Overseer was added in, like, Musical Meadows, I think. Um, so, around September of 2019, I'd guess. Yeah, it's... It was, it was a long time ago relative to many people that are playing now, um, but still, it was not near the beginning. I was, the only time I've been out is when pets with like Overseer plus stats, which is pretty high stat pets for most people with around, so. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I don't consider that advertising you, but, but, yeah. It's, it's still weird to see people come out to the stream. Like, not like I advertise them at all anywhere. Um, the only place that people can really see them is off my Discord um, status stuff that Discord handles and not night. So. Hello, Eugene. Welcome back. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to be doing a bit of final bosses and abusing the boss gum on it. But that hasn't been patched yet, despite me thinking it was. And hopefully it wasn't just basic gum that works on it, and we end up wasting the lichy gum. Um, ah, there we go. We broke the shield just before the time gets frozen. I hate that time frozen attack. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I know. I was fine with that, uh, but yeah, I mentioned stuff like that. I'm not really much of a fan of people, kinda. But, uh, I, the music is amazing on Ghost Simulator, the people that they got to do that beast looking, I think is one of them, and then whatever, is pretty amazing to do what they do. I especially like the fact that I've never got a copyright strike on any of my Ghost Simulator videos, compared to some of my other Roblox videos end up getting copyright striked for that kind of stuff, which doesn't mean anything since I can't monetize anyways. Um, since my, the you, the copyright strikes, or I guess it didn't really strike, it's just a copyright claim on your video. It just means either you need to mute the music or uh, you get, they get a, to get your advertising money. And since I'm not earning any money from advertisements yet, that means literally nothing to me. I know, I'm, yeah. It definitely did a good job on the music. I agree. Um, uh, I hope he's attack. It's not like the freeze attack makes you lose because you lose time. Since the time stays frozen for a lot longer, but, um... Do I know that rainbow guy? No, I do not know that rainbow guy. Remembering to use a boss gum since we can abuse that while it's still in the game. It's probably still a little bit early to do it. Um, I'll wait for the next part where the NPCs come up. Um, it's a long quest line. It's a long dialogue. It's no longer than two minutes though, so it should be fine. But um, just in case. Now I'll use it. And I should get like eight of the dev keys from this, which is ridiculous for 15 minutes. Um, that's four times what I should be getting of two, which will definitely cut my grind time for the final boss down quite a bit. Um, yeah, the riddles I know confuse a lot of people. Yeah, that's eight. That's so it isn't patched yet, so I can abuse it while it's out. 
Um, uh, do you mind telling me it? I know where all of them are. Like, there's the one in the junkyard, um, behind the ramp. There's another one, um, underneath the, or it's on a coral under the water next to the bridge. Um, there's also, who? There's also one on in the main thing behind the portal. Yeah, I hit a wall um, with my hand. Um, there's one on the top of the hoverboard time trial. And I'm trying to remember where the last one is. Yeah, I don't know where the last one is. There's one more, though. Oh, pyramids. It's in the pyramid area. It's on the top of the obby on one of the walls. So, yeah, thank you, Roblox, for helping with that one. Um, <laughs> ah, looks like he's flying again. Um, slightly this time, not as bad as it was the first time around. That first time around was pretty, pretty bad in terms of flying and stuff. So. Yeah, and he's slow enough hit me, so that's kind of annoying. And again. And again. Okay, no. They did hit twice with that. That would have been really obnoxious to have just been stunned that one for that sort of thing. So. Let's take out a little bit farther out from there. I think that seems like two shots away. we we'll move on to this one. Yeah. Um, Wiki has information on that that is really helpful for finding what you're looking for. Um, I always vouch for the wiki, go some wiki since this is pretty amazing. Um, and a lot of people help to make it what it is. The more people that know about the wiki, the better the wiki gets. Anyone can change any, any information. I'm a big fan of Wikipedia is like that, where they allow anyone to edit. Uh, meaning that if someone sees wrong information, they can quickly change it, and they don't have to rely on one person knowing everything. They can... Yeah, bye! Um, I know these streams are a little long, and I don't expect people to even stay for, like, less than, more than, like, five to ten minutes of them, just to say hi. Um, usually my average is about five to ten minutes of people staying in my streams, which I know includes sometimes people hitting it for, like, a second and then closing it back up. Uh, but it also includes the people of you that decide to stay around for the whole stream, which is amazing to see people do that. Um, yeah. I know always one of them is myself staying around and watching the chat, but that makes it even... That just makes my, me a little bit feel better about myself, seeing, um, always having at least one viewer on all my stuff, which is always me, but my goal is always to have, like, one viewer on each of my videos and stuff, and since I always end up watching them, but always do that. Yeah, but I know I hear a lot of people that say that they do the grind, they grind on some stuff, usually go somewhere, I'm assuming, um, while watching my content, which I'm a really big fan of watching YouTube and grinding at the same time, since that's usually what I'm doing half the time. I'm not, not, um, streaming, is, grind, is grinding and watching random YouTube videos. So, yeah. It's definitely appreciated that you guys do that. Um. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, gaming Roblox is... I prefer playing on the computer with most games that are across all the devices. It is almost always better to play on the computer version, since that's usually what it's optimized for, but... Yeah, I know computers are usually pretty expensive and not many people actually have them at this point. Um, since you can do a lot of stuff that you that you need on mobile stuff like tablets and cell phones. Yeah, we are we've gone through bosses and got 14 keys so far. We are at a really good rate. Um, after this one, we should be up to 22, and then 30. Uh, 
I definitely see why this was is supposed to be patched out. Yeah, um, I know. I I know people are just going are going to copy the link and save it for their own use. Um, I do that quite a bit with private links when it comes to like game nights and stuff, since I host on a different server, and I'm part of um since I'm in other servers, I sometimes just copy their link and use it for my own personal. So, uh, I'm fine with that. If it, it get, if it gets so bad that I can't even get into my own private public private server, then I can always change the link, but I won't unless it gets to the point where I can't. Which would be really hard for 12 of you guys to figure out how to block me out of my own private server. And if it ever got to that point, I'd probably figure out some better method of doing giveaways. Uh, and actually, probably once I get to that point, I'm probably too big to host giveaways like that anymore. I'd probably just end up doing the normal giveaway strategy of uh, having people enter and then giving away to random people instead of having everyone get something. Um, having everyone get something is really hard to manage once you get more than like five people who want something. Especially to make sure that the stuff are actually decent for everyone. Um, I guess everyone's pretty good about that with the gum. I really need to suggest to some people that giving away gum is a viable option for giveaways and stuff. Um, since usually they just give away pets and stuff. Um, but yeah. And we're we are not having the best day when it comes to um, avoiding attacks and becoming efficient. Well, it's something to do with its flying. We'll blame it on that. Not me being bad. It's never my fault. <laughs> my nose is just so stuffed up. Um, probably, probably has something to do with allergies and the season changing and all the pollen. Um, also, probably something to do with need talking a lot but yeah um, I think this is the fourth boss and so once we're done with this we'll be about halfway through um, wow look we got a platform for once sometimes you just get really unlucky and just don't get a platform which is really obnoxious when it happens Sorry if you're drinking water comes over horribly over the audio. Um, I'm surprised there's there's not that many that many more glitches in this in the boss fight. Um, since with every one of those attacks, you have to do something weird to undo it if, if they defeat it during it. Um, like even during like some of the other previous bosses, especially like event stuff. There's been weird glitches with the bosses where it just completely teleports out a map or glitches or something, it breaks for whatever reason. And it's kind of nice to see that there really hasn't been that many glitches in the final boss. Uh, I had a computer, it was just a hand-me-down from my brother, it was so slow until I got my own computer school, so I pulled it out. Lag! Um, but I'll need it, yeah. Um, the, the school has definitely been, uh, my school district has given computers to all the people to help with, like, um, they're planning on doing it before the Zoom demic, whatever, um, but it, it's definitely helpful for, since all the people, it helps with people doing work, and if they can't, like, use this use, I didn't have a computer or whatever, um, but, yeah, I know most of them can install games on it. Um, but, yeah. I used to have a really slow computer. Um, actually it wasn't terribly slow. Um, I have, I did actually record a few videos on it. Um, there's... But, it was quite, it was, it was slower than this. And this is actually a pretty good computer. Um, I know getting hand-me-downs is not always the best. Enemy downs are pretty cheap. It makes use of stuff you already have. Plus stuff goes to waste, so. I, I I am quite a fan of making sure nothing goes to waste. Um in terms of monetary value. Um I'm not the most green person in terms of making sure I don't 
use too much trash. Um, I know I should probably be better at that. Um, but not much I can do since I'm still kind of relying on my parents and most of my stuff, so. It's not like I can really like, go and buy meals that don't go to waste. Yeah. Um. I know what you mean. Old stuff like that is kind of weird. Um, but usually, like at this point, though, seven years old isn't actually that bad. I really hope this doesn't hit me. No, we're so close enough that it hits me, and yet it's still flying a little. It's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah. At least we don't go flying since it hit, doesn't hit us to the side, it just hits us straight down. Um, which is, I guess, one benefit of this. I just realized what someone was talking about. I, I forgot it. I forgot like a year ago or whatever. I actually got a, a premium for uh, like a month um, and did a bit of the trade thing in there and trade for some violet eyes. And apparently they went up value. I thought I was still using the purple uh, beast mode eyes from so long ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would definitely not. I would. I'm definitely not the best YouTuber. I try my best, but there's no way I'm the best YouTuber. It, although it is nice to hear people um, compliment me like that. As much as I enjoy your calling, I doubt it's correct. Uh, I care more about accuracy. Um, yeah. Like. Maybe I have the most time during this week to stream, and that makes me a better YouTuber right now, but other than that, I don't think there's really anything I have on any other YouTuber. Also, being mature, I think that being mature really helps. It goes a long way for having a YouTube channel. I know a lot of people have been going into YouTube recently just because of uh, both being at home quite a bit, and also it's been quite popular or and people have been exposed to it quite a bit at this point growing up and so think about it for themselves um but personally i feel like a lot of them are just really immature in it and i'm yeah yeah <laughs> honestly thank you for the compliment but, so i try to be as mature as possible in these streams um, which is sometimes very hard, and I know most people really don't care that much about maturity at this point in time, it's more about the memes. Um, but, but. Okay, did he just summon three sets of ghosts in a row? Um, that is doing a good really quick defeat time. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad. Bad final boss. You're, you're supposed to let me defeat you quicker by um, doing more, more, more something. Yes, okay. That, this one should be like a really quick defeat, like 110 or something. Just because of that. Yeah. 115. That's the, probably the fastest I've ever seen that go down. Um. Hold on to that me me miss six. Um, whenever I want to save pictures like that, I usually end up sending them to a random bots DM on Discord, uh, since it's a lot easier than saving it to my computer, since I'm just gonna. Um, uh, Boscom. I know we're going through our Boscom at a pretty pretty bad pace. For saving up for the event, but I think this is worth it to get some the eight blocks wet keys at a time. So we're definitely saving up some of these. 
Um, yeah, we got eight drops there again. Yeah, I think we're up to like 20-ish now. Uh, 22. Um, so, that's a... Uh, for after an hour of grinding for 22, that's going to be pretty nice. Um, I know it takes quite a long time to get the boss come though, so you have to factor that into the grind time, which, but I don't think that plays a big enough part. I think I get like one per an hour, which, and I also get like ghostly glitchy loot and all the other stuff. So yeah, unboxing Godlies, it definitely feels nice when you do it, especially when they're good, better, um, Godlies. I know some Godlies aren't always the best to unlock since they aren't worth as much, but yeah. Nice job unlocking some godlies. So, probably by the time the event drops we'll be down to like 15 or so. Um, Boscom. I do. I did remember that I have forgotten to uh, defeat the or convert my items from the before, from right before the giveaway I think. So We still have to do stuff like that. Um, convert those items, which will be pretty good to do. Um, yeah, but in the meantime, it's just using some Boscom on this and making sure to defeat it. And also watching it as it um, glitches and does weird stuff, so, yeah. Ah, there we go, it's back. Um, yeah, I was not quite in the game when the dragon was the best godly, um, so I don't know exactly when that was. I, to be honest, um, I got really lucky right when I joined the game with the god, with the dragon. Um, like, the first boss I defeated, I got a, a crate key from that, and then I went and unboxed a, the best crate possible, the dragon one, and got a dragon out of it. So, that was quite ridiculous. Um, I have a terrible video on it, if you ever go and watch it. Um, it's literally after the fact, not even the unboxing the box, just because I wasn't really, I didn't really record Ghost Simulator at that time. And so it was just more of me saying wow and stuff. It was, it's a terrible video. Most of my... Most of my videos are terrible in that respect. Like, one of them was after one of my friends unboxed a soul heart on Bubble Dumpson. But, what's the largest number you can think of? Um, Novan Dekillion. Um, MBD. Novan Dekillion. Um, I don't know exactly how big it is. Uh, but that's the biggest number I can think of on the spot. Um, mostly, uh, if you're wondering where um, it's, it's like one with like 200 or something zeros behind it. I guess I could probably have also said Google is probably bigger. Or actually, no, Google is smaller. Um, a centillion is a bigger. Yes. Uh, which classified board did I unbox? Um, I unboxed Sky Surfer from crate number two, since that's the one that I think the least amount of people I will go for in the main hub, so it's probably the rarest. Um, yeah. There's a lot of, like, I mean, anything, honestly, anything over a, like, anything over a trillion, you never really need to worry about. But. Yeah, I know sometimes you get really unlucky with boxes and then end up right between stuff. Um, the thing you have to remember is the item that you get is actually picked right at the start, and everything else that goes flying by is just kind of visual. So, yeah, that's the deal with crates and stuff. It's 
all the random stuff that you don't land on is just a visual thing. Um, doesn't actually have anything to do with what you're getting. So it isn't like you missed it by it so much. It's actually just, that's just kind of what it threw there. Um, as a random picture. Although, yes, I understand it's still quite obnoxious to see it like that quite a few times, but still. Honestly, we might cart this uh, stream a little bit shorter than I intended and only do like six final bosses, uh, depending, on, depending on what I feel like. Uh, just with the addition of the glitchy boss gun, I'm getting quite a few more boss keys than uh, I want. But I guess I should probably just continue grinding anyways, since I do get to use the glitchy boss gun on it. Um, I'll see what I feel like when I get there. Which is kind of what my strategy is for everything like that, is just figure out what, I, what I'll do once I can get there. Um, yeah. Yeah, this should be my fifth boss, I think. Yeah, it's weird to see the random stuff that makes their way into a Roblox game. Like, um, I know Roblox isn't the best platform to develop on, so any glitches that happen, sometimes it's not even, like, the developer's fault. Especially when it comes to, like, duping and backdoors and exploits and stuff, there's a lot of them on all Roblox games. And so, um, it's, it's really unfair to some of the developers that work really hard on the games and then have people that decide to do things like dupe in a billion items or do stuff like that. Um, I mean, there are things that you can do to try to patch it out, but, like, that's the thing. It's really hard to, on, during, in, on Roblox, as a Roblox developer, to patch out all the backdoors that are just in the Roblox client itself. So, we'll get this damage. I've been thinking about creating my own game for Roblox, but I don't want to deal with like the save stuff since I know that is going, that would be a pain to code up or figure out what find some trustworthy stuff for it. of this I should have instead of 16 I should probably have like um, apparently I'm having a struggle to do math so after this I'll have 30 and then three more will give me another 24 so 54 so if we want we could actually go get a final pet I think I'll save them though save up for like a hundred or something so 
Yeah. Ooze we'll interface. Doors start raining down everywhere. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm uh, JavaScript is definitely something I'm proficient in. Um, not, not proficient, I guess you should say, but I'm more used to it. Um, I could definitely pick up Lua if I wanted to. Uh, the thing is, I don't really see much of a point since it would end up being basically a trash game. Um, since the idea I'd have is would uh, that my execution of it would be terrible, since I wouldn't be have anyone backing me for that card and making sure the codes are actually pretty efficient and I, d I don't know how to do Roblox stuff very efficiently. So, yeah. and so that's the thing about languages is that even though if you don't know a language you can usually pick it up pretty nicely. Um, yeah we'll definitely not be able to do that. What is your favorite purple pad? I actually really like the purple. Um, I know purple is the original and I should like it better, but the fact that the purple is kind of just unique and um, has its switch hat is actually, I think, a really cute little pet. Um, gift wrap purple, I feel like it's just a little bit overdone, um, but, and the purple is basic. Uh, the basic is usually pretty good in a pet. Um, but yeah, definitely do purple, and then purple, and then get brown purple. And I guess, uh, I would consider Puggle a purple pet, um, since it came out, uh, while Mackie was joking about a, um, Pug purple mix, um, and its name is similar enough to be that, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I probably got really lucky with my the purple draw. Um, I mean, I was somewhat going for it, and it was nice to get it. Um, but the fact that it's a, I usually have terrible luck when drawing. Actually, yeah. Right. And since I was grinding, I haven't until recently had any of the game passes, so I was only grinding for one key at a time. It definitely took a lot longer to do that than, um, than it will for the Easter event if they when they have those stuff. Yeah. Um, this boss should be dead sometime soon. Oh wait. Um, uh, or it's dead now. Um, then we wait for cutscenes and then go in and use a gun. Again. Because apparently they haven't patched that. Um, let's see, announcement. Dupe. We'll use a gum. And we'll get eight. Sorry, I was reading. Um, they asked, um, Peeper Ducky in the thing, and it's, hmm. Sorry, a bit distracted with Discord. I always end up getting a little bit distracted during these streams when there's nothing going on and looking at Discord. Just making sure no one's uh, needing any help with anything important, like making, getting, um,
but yeah. Um, and I have now forgotten the video idea I, had, I remembered earlier this video. We are currently 0 for 0 on video ideas remembering. Um, actually, I guess technically they were 1 for 2. Um, since we forgot it earlier this video and then remembered it a little bit after there and now we've forgotten it again so yeah um, uh, it's not like I would be working on it right after this stream anyways it would probably be work on it tomorrow or something um, so. yeah. thank you for that question about what's my favorite purple deck um, I definitely think the purples are very interesting that, that they added to the game The thing about upgrades and stuff, it's really annoying when you lose them. Um, like, even, like, the first time I lost a jetpack, it, I was not used to not playing the game without a jetpack at first. Um, you do get used to it, I'm pretty sure, once you start rebirthing massively, but I'm not going to be used to it anytime soon, because I've been working on grinding a bit more max down rather than, um, than working on rebirths. Honestly, I should probably work up depending on the stats of the Easter event, I'll probably work on um, Divine Pets during my rebirth. Oh wait, that's that was what the video idea I was doing going to. Okay, so now we're two for two on times that I forgot and remembered that video idea. Um, it's definitely going to be an easier video to record, probably just a one take. Um, I like one take videos. They're pretty easy to do. I know they're not the most interesting for you guys, but I am fine with them not being interesting. This, this is really annoying that he's doing so many of that jump attack. That jump attack really hurts the speed in which you could use boss. Uh -huh. Did we use a boss game on our final boss on the last one? Um, pretty sure so. But I'm also was really distracted with the sword at the time, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, I looks like we did. We've used three glitches, one basic, and one without, so that totals 30. 24 plus 4 plus 2 is... Finally, we can get up! Sometimes the combos that that boss can pull off is stupid. Which is kind of the benefit of having multiple people, you don't get stuck on one attack and get down forever, you can actually have other people working on it while you're stunned and stuff, like with the laser and even, even the freeze attack, it's nice to have other people to shoot while you're down, which is kind of the only benefit of going with multiple people. Um, if, you're both, if you're both have the same efficiency, it's actually better for you to do it that way, since it would be the same speed and you'd be able to adjust better to the, um, the attacks that do only target one person and you can't avoid. So yeah, if you have if you know a friend and you can actually probably like, run faster with the friend on some bosses. I mean personally I don't have a friend to go play with in grind with, so um, it's kinda hard to do in public servers since or kinda hard to do since the only servers you can play with someone else is in public servers, so probably better just to do them with your friends, but if you can get into a public server alone or uh, without anyone else doing the boss, you can definitely go off the boss and grind your fight with just you in the front.
After that, we should. After this, um, I have about uh, 40 minutes left more of grinding. Um, until I cut, I think. And cut off. Um, I think. I think this is the sixth boss. Yeah, okay. So about 40 more minutes of worth of grinding until we get. Until I switch over, until I just kind of chill out and leave the stream. So, for anyone keeping track of that, um, I'm not. I've I've lost track so many times of which boss I'm on that I don't even really know at this point. So, two more bosses once I'm done with this one. Hello, Maximus. Nice to see someone new on the stream. Um, currently working on grinding. I know it's not quite what the title of the video said, but um, when I was starting out, I was grind grinding them, but now I'm working on grinding a few final bosses. Apparently, they haven't quite patched the gun working on the final boss drops. Which is, I'm kind of using that. You could say I'm using a glitch, but um, And then we should go into these phases. Um, hopefully you don't get hit by one of those blocks. I do hate how it comes from a random direction, so you aren't ever quite sure where it's coming from. Um, meaning, you could just get hit, if you're up against a wall, could just instantly get hit by something. Which gets really annoying really, really quickly. How do you get good? Good? Um, I'm stuck in backdoor. Um, just, I know backdoors are really long, it takes probably close to, um, 20 hours first time through without any game passes to get through the backdoor. Um, uh, only real way is to get, uh, is just to grind, there's no really other way. Um, I mean, you could work on getting better pets from other things, but, yeah, I think, honestly, the best thing is just to grind through the backdoor. Um, once you're done with backdoor and you have access to the final boss area, you can grind out some pets there. Um, so, but yeah, backdoor is just a grind. Um, like, I know the first time I went through it took me seven hours for Billy. Hold on. So, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it's not, I know it's not the most help, I, there aren't really any other better ways to get good, um, I mean, honestly, at this point, um, most of the code pets that I've been getting are pretty good stat-wise, and can basically see you through the whole way, um, well, all the way through the back door, really, when I was going through the back door, I didn't, I mean, I had Blocks and stats, which aren't even better than some of the free pets that people that you can get from other places. Um, but, yeah. I know that's not really the most helpful thing to be telling you, but it's all I really have.
Yeah. I mean, if you have Robux, buying like two times items is definitely worthwhile. But I know most people don't, so that's not something I usually suggest people to do. But definitely a worthwhile game pass if you do. But yeah, grinding is really the only thing you can do um, at that portion of the game. Getting good stuff pets from like. Yeah, I mean, if you aren't. If you aren't doing better stats than a blob, which you really should be, I think all of the code pets that have been releasing recently have been better than a blob in stats. You can always go and do jacks and then use the meadows, but that's good. Long quest line for not a not a terribly good pet for backdoor stuff, so. And I know I'm making you say thank you a lot, which I'm kinda sorry for. Uh, covering the same thing 20 million times and makes me feel a little bit awkward saying so thank you every single time. Um, so I'll move on to quickly stuff now. Um, I'll probably have to mute the between this and the next boss and may have it if and go through a bit of the cutscene. Sorry about that. Um, I have to go do something small in the in between. So ah. Uh. Okay, yeah, I don't think you need any better stats. I think you just need to get down and get a grinding. Um, like, one dev hit is probably better than my whole team back when I went through the back door, which is saying quite a bit about um, how the stats have gone, so. Um, but, yeah. So. If you have gum, that can help quite a bit, but... Hmm. Um, no, 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 no. I forgot to use the boss gum. It's not gonna hurt too much. Um, but yeah, I'll mute Mike, uh, go do something real quick. I'll be back shortly. Uh, um, I'm back. It looks like we did quite get this cutscene, which sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, I I actually think this will probably be the last boss I do. Um, on stream. So about 15 more minutes, and then I'll end it off. Great time to ask questions. I'll be trying to watch that. 
Uh, I've never been on it. Yeah, it is. Definitely the first time you get on a stream, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah. I've, I've been doing quite a bit of these. I've, I've had quite a lot of free time. Since I've been in between classes and not had anything else to really do. Um, they'll probably... Probably be doing another stream, maybe tomorrow. Which will make it three days in a row without I've had a stream, but... You know, that's not that bad. Yeah. Streams are really, really interactive and... Probably a good way for smaller YouTubers to get a bit of attention. At least I think so. Since you get a lot of content out. Um, get to socialize with people. And people like to see a live stream compared to normal, I think. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that reminder, Um, I remember that I forgot last time. And, I mean, I mean, that does mean I get to save it for the event, but at the same time, I'd rather use it on this with the 15 minute um, grind compared to a, a boss that I can grind in like three minutes or less. Yeah, so it, and I forgot that I, I forgot where my WASD keys were. Um, you guys ever end up pressing like EA, ESD, F keys instead of the WASD keys? Because I have that happen all the time. Or not all the time, but a pretty good amount. It happens every once in a while. Yeah, I know, coming up, seeing everyone that comes out to these streams, it's pretty nice to see and it's nice to hear that you have you have some free time too. So. Yeah. What? I feel like that always comes from like the wrong side. And that should be breaking too shortly. Once I can get my vacuum back. Okay, I didn't get enough shots on this fellow as I thought I did. Um, I thought I was doing pretty even between all of them, but obviously I didn't get as many shots on this one as I thought I did. But yeah. As I said before, this will be the last boss I'll be doing this stream. Um, I'll probably end up doing a few after it, just by myself, since but, um, I've been streaming for a while now, and I think it's about time I take a break. Um, Uh, I try to do giveaways every in every, all my streams. I did one earlier. It was in like an hour, and, hour ago or something, like an hour and thirty minutes ago. Um, so yeah, you can always if you catch my streams, you can usually end up catching me in game for, for a small giveaway of random stuff that I don't need. Yeah, I play a decent amount against him. Um, to be honest, not that much more than what I stream at this rate. Uh, I can't imagine even once I get off, I'll do more than like three times the amount I stream. So. I'll probably also have a schedule uh, at some point. I don't know, at some point next week but for, for you guys to. Do. Sorry about that. The screen you size that is my fault. I accidentally I, every once in a while click on the top of the screen causing the thing to change that. Small screen instead, which changes the resolution, which messes with the OBS size stuff. Thank you. I'll definitely try to see if I notice you in some of the servers if I'm ever playing publicly and um, 
if you catch my next stream, I'll definitely be doing some. Um, how many box white keys do you have? Uh, I think I have up to, I have 32 now. Um, after this ever, I remember to use a glitchy boss gun, I should have 40. Um, if I'm counting right. Of course, I could have 40 right now and you being getting 48 from this. Not entirely sure. Actually, no, I should be getting up to 40 after this, so we'll see. Um, you can go check that out really quick. I think it's 32 and then I'll be getting up to, yeah, 32 and getting up to 40. Um, I'll probably do, go through a few of my keys later, just so I can, um, just so I, in case they patch it sooner, or the Easter event drops, I can use a few of my boss bait, or boss gum, but, yeah. Can you have a fruit pet? Um, I tried to do a giveaway in every one of my streams, so, if you catch the next one, maybe. Um, I'm trying not to give out fruit pets and ruin my grind. So I usually schedule those around when I go take a lunch break during my streams. Um, any of the pets I give out though won't be like entirely high stat pets. They'll usually be uh, stuff that I can get pretty easily um, and don't need to worry about running out of during giveaways. So they usually end up being legendaries that are really easy to get and lower stat. So if you already have like rebirth a few times, it probably won't be the best. Um, Yeah, uh, I, you can't trade the anniversary fruit, and it was given only once per person for joining the game during their anniversary. They had it available for people to help with progression and stuff. Um, yeah. To be honest, you're probably better off entering codes and accepting fruit packs for my giveaways, um, since they are usually lower in stats than our um, is considered good at the time. Last phase, or two, two more phases of this, and then we need to remember to use the boss gum. Thank you again to Marcos for reminding me a long time ago. Will there be more of the fruit? Probably not. It was definitely going to be a one-time item, like the one-year bag. Although I think the one-year bag is still the LP game will be a code. Um, I don't know. I got my mind a year ago or something. So I have it, but, um, yeah. So what time is next stream? I'm probably going to be doing another one um, tomorrow about the same time. I, depending on, I'm pretty sure you'll probably see it scheduled up if I can. Um, like. About with like an hour to three minutes before I started this one. It really all feel kind of is up to what I feel like during each day, so no, no set schedule yet. Um, I, I'm definitely working on the set schedule as I transition into another school quarter, um, getting a schedule down for videos, streams, and all that stuff. So. Yeah, the best way to know when I'm going to be streaming is to um, insert generic, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, uh, advertisement, or, uh, advertisement's not correct, um, saying here, um, but I know a lot of YouTubers say that, and so, um, but it is definitely true if you plan on catching the stream. Um, how much does the Dino Pet do? I'm assuming you're talking about the Dino Pet from the Dino Loot Bag. Um, I think it actually, and you're talking about stats from it, I'm assuming. Um, or are you talking about the purple? You're talk probably talking about purple. Um, those are just cosmetic pets. 
Um, sorry for misunderstanding. Um, they're cosmetic pets, so they aren't really worth helping with my solar vacuum. Um, so, but they are actually low stat, low stat pets. Uh, mostly I have them equipped because they're purple. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to friend people um, via YouTube because if all like 20 people that watch every single one of my streams ends up, if I end up friending them, I can't. I don't have enough space for that currently. And then people would feel left out, and that just creates a whole lot of problems. Um, I always have my joins open, so if you go to my user on Roblox, um, you can join me if I'm in a public server. Usually I'm grinding a private server, like right now, and so not really grinding, but... Um, yeah, the gift wrap purple. Um, that was a rare pet from the, the 2020 Christmas event, and it has rare stats, so not very good stats. Um, just have a quick because cosmetic wise and purpose. And apparently that's okay. Ouch. Now, where are we on time? So about 10 more or so, 15 more seconds or so once I get up to defeat the boss. Assuming I can get up. What is user highest? Uh, same as my you, same as my YouTube stuff. Um, anytime I'm in a public server, anyone can come join me. Um, so if that's what you like to do, um, I won't be accepting friend requests since I've already stated. And my public in the Honestly, at this point in time, I should probably have my Roblox profile in the description of every video. And I don't feel like that since most of the time it's not really worth it. What are you trading again? Um, I'm not trading anything. Um, I don't think I said I was trading anything. Um, we're remembering to use the glitchy gun this time. Um, but yeah. So. Hopefully we don't didn't use it too early. Really hopefully not. Um, there is quite a bit of cutscenes though, so may have. But yeah, I think that'll be it for the stream. Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, I think. Um, if you want to be sure of that, you can set up an occasion and stuff. But I think about this time, probably starting around the same time, maybe about 30 minutes earlier, depending on when I wake up. Um, so if you wanna come out to that stream, that would be very much appreciated. So yeah, that should be it for the stream. Um, thank you all for coming out. Uh, my chat has been amazing to speak with.